is so stupid it's positively brilliant. The brilliant is positively Charlamagne the God, Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and today's episode of the Brilliant Idiots is sponsored by Squarespace. Uh, turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. All right, Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind, with beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can really make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24/7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Okay, head to squarespace.com right now and use backslash idiots for a free trial okay that's go to squarespace backslash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code idiot to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain let's start the show can i tell you the what i think is the best show on television oh god we know what you think the best no show no no it. you don't i know we're talking about another one. Oh, inside the nba oh come on you're late this show... That's Brilliant Idiots for Basketball. Is Brilliant Idiots for Basketball. Dude, <laughs> that's, bro, that's, did you see the clip last night? Of Shaq and Barkley going at it? Because that, that was a real moment. Because Shaq really did get in his feelings. Son, <laughs> and Barkley son. and Kenny Smith and Ernie didn't give a shit. They didn't give... Because they've been working together long enough that they know they're real friends. And like, yeah. oh, whatever. Fuck it. Bro, Ernie <laughs> was crying. He got up by the seat and Literally cried laughing. tearing, crying. He... But did you, did you hear what, how it started? That was the funniest part to me that was so fucking slept on. Go, go, go. It started because Kenny was fucking with Shaq in the locker room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying that Felipe Lopez... <laughs> Lopez was a better high, high school, school player, player than Shaq. Shaq. I love that type of shit. <laughs> I know. I love I that know. type of shit. Like I, I can, I can understand Shaq's frustration. Like what the fuck is talking about high school? <laughs> like I would have bust Felipe that <laughs> high school. You know what I'm saying? Like, but how do you prove that? Think about that. You had a storied NBA oh, career, God. Hall of Famer, four-time champion. Yeah. And we talking about high school? MVP. Talk about high school? <laughs> high school. <laughs> like, like, I love that type of competitiveness. competitiveness. Bro, like, he, Shaq don't want to be bad at nothing. No, nothing. Not the fuck, no, no. Don't smear my resume. Why is he so insecure? I don't think it's insecurity. Bro, it ain't he, confidence. Did you see his hot ones? Did you see him on hot ones? I didn't see hot ones. Watch that. He... He comes off very insecure. Oh, but he is an insecure yeah. dude. Like, at, literally every time they get into a disagreement on the show with Charles, he goes, yo, but how many rings you got, Charles? How, I mean, how many rings you got? I'm going to tell you something. I, I got a theory about that. I just thought about it just now. literally just came to me. Yeah. If you're an NBA player, right? Yeah. Or a football player, any athlete, anybody whose stats are secured, meaning yeah. they're there. Yeah. Facts the Undeniable. facts, the numbers, yeah. everything backs up what you say. Yeah. In this era, yeah. if you don't maintain your legacy, maintain your resume, and control your narrative, that shit could change. What do you What do you mean? Meaning, uh, people will say things like LeBron is the greatest NBA player of all time. Uh, Kevin Hart is the greatest comedian of all time. Because social media is the big voice right now. So that's what ah. they know. That's what they've seen. You know what I'm saying? So right. Shaq could easily, oh, Joel Embiid is better than Shaq. Uh, 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 talking, uh, who's another good big man that they've seen in the last 10 years? DeMarcus Cousins is better than Shaq. Who knows? Right, like, right, they right. can say things like right, that. Right, right, so right. if Shaq doesn't nip that shit in the bud, somebody will run and say, hey, Felipe Lopez is better than Shaq because they're not going to do no fucking research. Right. They heard Charles Barkley say it. They trust Charles Barkley. They trust Kenny Smith. Yeah. And they're running with it. Yeah. And Shaq didn't say anything against it. So you got to kind of like... Hold on to your shit, bro. You got to yeah. let motherfuckers know what it is. Yeah, no, I think I think you're 100% right. Uh, my guess, my one question is like, why does a guy that accomplished, wealthy, and successful care? Because I, I got to let y'all know, bro. You can't play. But, but with why? Me. That's insecurity, right? On some level, it's like I insecurity is is rooted in really caring what other people think. He cares what people who don't even know basketball. If you know basketball, if you, you know Shaq's a bad some, motherfucker. Yeah, but if you were sitting around with some people and they was like, hey, Andrew Schultz only gets three YouTube views yeah. per video. You're not going to sit there and let that shit ride? Shit, give me Shaq's money. Right. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I mean, that. Give me Shaq's Hell money. No. Give me them no, rings. No. Give me Shaq's money nah, rings. I don't give a fuck. Facts still matter. You know what I mean? Give me Shaq's indoor shades. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the motherfucker Facts still matter. tents on. We had, a good, we had a good debate the other day at the dinner table. Uh, How was it? It was good. It was, it, and it what was, was it, rather? It was about, it, it started with Russell Westbrook. Because okay. I, I just think, I hate the fact that, you know, guys like Skip Bell are even saying things like Damian Lillard is better than Russell Westbrook. And, and it's based off one series. See, you making that face. You don't watch basketball. I watch. This man more averaged. NBA the, shut than... the Chris. The man averaged a triple double the past three seasons. But unheard people, of. People bro. get intoxicated by a triple. Andrew, double. you're That's... picking a guard tomorrow. Who are you picking first, L Lillard or Westbrook? Uh, Lillard. Yep. Thank Why? You. Ten times out of ten. Why? 
It off is. one series and a no, game no, no, winning no, shot. No, 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 when no, he gets no. swept, when, not swept, but when they lose to Denver this series, all that rhetoric gonna change. Well, what is Westbrook done by himself in the playoffs? What has anybody done by no, himself? I'm in the just playoffs? saying, like, it, Damian Lillard has gotten one first round victory in the playoffs, and what has Westbrook gotten by himself? Zero. Zero, right? So, like, for to me, but when, but but Paul George been there two years. Right, right, and he was year hurt this year. Yeah, before that, yeah, before no, he wasn't. Paul George was this, like, Paul George definitely hurt no, this year. Uh, yeah. This he was hurt this playoffs. So he shoulder. had a shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Year before that, Westbrook had nobody, right. nobody. Like literally, right. KD left. He said, "I'm gonna stay here, thug it out, average the triple double, beat Oscar Robinson's record." Then has done it two more times since then. So here's how was Damian Lillard better than him off no, one I series? I didn't say better. I didn't say better. Player, and I think he's a better, how? better it's leader. A, it's not about better, right? Mm-hmm. It's for me if I'm putting a team together, right. Which pieces are going to go? Okay. Right? So for a guy like Damian Lillard, I think Russell Westbrook is an incredible force. He's one of my favorite players to watch. He's the antithesis of James Harden. Right? It's like he is, I'm going to go all effort. I'm not going to bitch. I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm Max Kellerman said he hard. goes too hard. Too hard, yeah. My God. Yeah, yeah. What kind of era do we live in? No, it's, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's an argument to it. I just think that Damian Lillard is a better piece to build around. Because his ego is, and I, I'm not trying to knock Russ's ego because Russ's ego is also what makes him great. It's just tough for him dominating the ball the way he does to be the best player on his team. And if Russ could accept, hey, I can be a number two, I think that that sky's the limit for any team Russ is on. But he cannot be a number two. He is an alpha in his purest form. He is Jordan-esque in his alpha. You know what Russell needs? Same thing Jordan had, a system. Well, well, yeah. He needs to be in a better system. But he, he's the one who destroys the system. How do you figure they, that? You don't, maybe, maybe he's never. Here. I don't want to Maybe he's never. Them, but yeah, you can say it. I mean, yeah. some, maybe, someone who knows the people involved was in this room saying firsthand knowledge that whenever uh, the coach would call a play, Westbrook would come down the floor and say, fuck that. That's not what we're running. Oh, we're that's running just, my shit. Well, that's stupid. Maybe he hasn't had a coach he respects. Well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Phil Jackson is an alpha coach. Right. He's yeah. an alpha male coach. Yeah, and Scotty Brooks wasn't an alpha coach. Uh, no, look. There are no, there are, there's only one of those in the NBA right pop. now, by the way. That's it. Right. And and there's certainly people. I think Brad Stevens is no. No sly way. alpha. Yeah, stop. Sly. Chris, Chris, Chris. No, 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 no. No way. Yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not. Look, you <laughs> see what Kyrie is just bullying him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, I so, take that back. I take that back. So, look. What, what, what Brad Stevens is is a great X's and O's guy, but he's not a personality yeah, right, guy. Right, like, right. Pop is a straight personality guy. He knows how to get the most out of you. I mean, they almost, took out, they almost took, took out Denver. Kyrie not listening to Brad Stevens? Yeah, Fuck you. You, you got no ring? Come on now. Who else? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't know who Brad Stevens is. Like, why is my accountant on the bench? Yeah. Anyway, so the point is, the point with, with, with Russ is he is so effective and he's so great. Does that effectiveness and greatness translate to winning? Winning. That's and see, that, and that, that was my argument. Do you it, believe it? I don't know yet. I'm be right. honest with you. I really don't know. I don't right. know. Like because it's still kind of early for Russ in a lot of he's ways. Thirty. Yeah. Or is he thirty, Chris? Yeah. I mean, and he, you know, he was time. with the Rams. some pretty they, good teams. And by the way, we don't know if Damian Lillard is a winner. He just beat Russ in a series. Totally true. You know what I'm saying? So totally it's just like, true. And, and and that's my argument. That, that's that's what I was saying. I was like. Damien right now looks like he's more of a winner than Russell Westbrook because you can be you can you can what is it called of the moment we're, prisoners of the moment prisoners of you the moment you can be a physically yeah. dominating player yeah. you can have all the gifts fill up the scoreboard yeah. and not dominate yeah LeBron James right and so that's and how LeBron the, uh, is dominating no LeBron and that's that that was the argument and I was surprised I was really I, it was a good argument I, I, I thought people were going to disagree with me yeah one person did but he works on the shop salute to Tommy but yeah. it, 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 <laughs> LeBron has dominated a conference. LeBron has not dominated the league. It's a difference. He's dominated the Eastern Conference. He has not dominated the league. Going to the West Coast this year exposed LeBron a lot. Even though the team was hurt and they had their problems and they had their issues. LeBron was also hurt. He was hurt. They didn't make the playoffs. I would argue that LeBron has dominated a conference, but not the league. What about when he was the team that came out of that conference and then Mm -hmm. they dominated the best team in the Western Conference? They didn't dominate, though. They were down three games to one. And then that was it. That was one one of the greatest comebacks of all time, but I wouldn't call that. What about with Miami? That's tough, too. And I'm going to tell you why. First year that they won the championship, it was a half a season. Okay. They beat a young Oklahoma City Thunder team. Second time was against the Spurs. Ray Allen bailed them the fuck out. Then they played the Spurs again, lost to the Spurs. And they lost to the Mavericks in the finals. The, the, they went to the finals four times. Lost to the Mavericks the first time. First time they won the championship, beat OKC in a half a season. Third time, uh, Ray Allen bailed them out against the Spurs. 
Fourth time Spurs beat them. Mm-hmm. I just don't think a Lebr- I don't think a LeBron led team has dominated the NBA. Michael Jordan led team dominated the NBA. Kobe Bryant led team dominated the NBA. I mean, but they also lost. You know, Kobe lost to the Kobe Celtics. Lost too. He lost too. You know, and then he. But, those, but they, that's, those are great teams. But he didn't get there tons of times as well. Got there seven times. But as I'm saying, he look, listen. LeBron dominated the conference, and he dominated a conference that was weak. East is way better now than it was when LeBron was running through that better. shit. East is better. I don't think LeBron even comes out with the Cavs this year. I don't think LeBron, a Cavs-led team, could beat the Bucks if LeBron was still in Cleveland. Yeah. I don't. I definitely couldn't beat the Celtics. Don't think they could beat Toronto. What's your reasoning for that? Say Philly, too. No, nah, they'd be Philly. But what's your reasoning for that? Just because you think that the players on these teams have improved since Yeah, the talent them? is better. It's clearly, yeah. Okay, because he's beaten all these guys. He just beat them younger. Yeah. The so ta- you're like, the talent The talent is way raised. better. Absolutely. This I don't year. think the talent is raised exponentially where they couldn't beat them. I don't think that when he beat them a few years ago, when he beat them last year, I, I don't think that— I don't think Milwaukee— Like, uh, Drew Bledsoe wasn't on Milwaukee a few, three years ago. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, not Drew Bledsoe. Freak was. Uh, what's the guy's name? What's Ooh. the guy's name? Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe was the quarterback for those. I said Drew Bledsoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but I don't think Eric is going to be that you know difference maker. Yeah. I think John is like changing as a player. Is, That's is, a fact. Is, is going to be much more difficult to manage. But uh, I think LeBron still comes out regardless. I think they, he, they, they have a shitty team in L.A. And I think what happens is when you play in L.A., Every person on the team gets inflated. The reality is Brandon Ingram is not a good basketball player. Young, though. I think you can only be young for so long. Yeah. I don't think that he's a good basketball player. I don't think that they really have anybody that good besides Lonzo, and Lonzo is a decent basketball player. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who they have that's really good. Kuzma's good. I wouldn't, I can't put him And there's a perfect example with Kuzma. It's like another guy who's inflated. Like he'll have these big games, but. Yeah, I don't think he's consistent enough yeah, to be considered like, good. Like, what, what are you getting from him? Are you just giving him the ball in a block and he can get you two? Like, what is, what is, who else on that team can get you two? Like, LeBron, say what you want about Kyrie. LeBron had Kyrie who could get you two whenever the fuck he wants. Kyrie's a better finisher than LeBron, too, though. Oh, Kyrie's the best non-dunking finisher in the history of the game. Yeah. In my opinion. And that, and that's Here's why, a question. <clears throat> Kyrie or Dame? Kyrie. Dame. I go Dame. Kyrie healthy? Kyrie all day. I know Dame. I t- Kyrie is too much of a diva, and he's too much of a distraction. Dame he, is real consistent. But listen, everything y'all saying about Russell? Yeah. People say the same exact thing about LeBron. The same, like, literally. I think it fits. I think LeBron's Achilles heel, I've said it before, is he gets too involved in personnel decisions, and he's not a great... He hasn't been surrounded by elite talent for the most part, except for Kyrie, and at the end of the he day... he hasn't? He hasn't. Has not. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah, in Miami. Oh, I thought I thought you were talking about Cavs. No, 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 no. I thought you were talking about Cavs. I didn't think we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I, I consider the Miami stuff its own. A different saga. You know, we don't know who's responsible for that. My guess is he's played a large role in that. And like, they, if you look at those Cavs teams, there's nobody from those teams that stands out. Right, but what he's always done is he's packed his teams with the exact role players that he needs to be successful. And if he's smart, he has another elite guy who can get buckets because we all know about LeBron. He likes deferring, especially at important points of the game. Mm-hmm. He likes passing and guys who can hit shots. Right. And then he has, you know, uh, what's the white boy's name from uh, that's at Utah right now? Uh, the Kyle the, Korver? Yeah, the Kyle Korver. Yeah. yeah. So have a, like a white guy who could just drop, you know, threes right. out the ass, mm-hmm. et cetera. That's the perfect solution for, um, for LeBron. And when you put these pieces around, you can be successful. And he wants it. In like a that. Eastern Conference. In a Eastern conference. <laughs> in a Eastern conference. I think that he could do it in the West too. No way, Jose. I think he could do. It. You don't Mm-mm. think that they can beat the Denver Nuggets? You don't think they could beat the Trailblazers? They didn't. <laughs> like, even when they were healthy, I think when they were when they were at, the, at their healthiest this year, they was like a number four seed. Oh, I'm saying if you take that Cavs team he was on and you put it in the West, I think that Cavs team goes to the Western Conference Finals and plays no. the Warriors. Absolutely. Nah. I think that Cavs team beats the Rockets with, easy. With what Kevin year? Love what year? Tristan Thompson yeah. and those guys? Yeah, and, and Kyrie. Oh, with Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah, Kyrie, yeah, yeah. Kev, Tristan. Yeah. Absolutely. I would need a little more from Kevin Love in, or, in order for them to really, really, really compete sure. in the West. So that's a, that's the other question is like, who's better, Kyle Kuzma or Kevin Love? I think Kevin Love's way better. Because you got to think, two years ago when they had that team, yeah. they would have had to get through OKC with Russell Westbrook, fucking KD. And they would have had to get through the Warriors. Well, they are, yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. I think I think they got that. I mean, 
The, OKC was a beast. Yo, here's the thing about OKC. Kevin it's just like, couldn't be patient. That's what I think. I honestly believe that. You know Kevin what? just could not be patient. You know what I heard it was? And this is on OKC. The franchise looked at Russ and they looked at Kevin. And they saw Kevin is as a single mom, no connection with his pops, dead serious. Hey, shut up, Yo, man. You want to know some real shit? Single mom, no connection with the pops. And they looked at, at Russ and they were like, real strong family unit, doesn't even have a lot of friends outside his close circle. And they go, this kid's going to be harder to kind of move and sh- I don't want to use the word manipulate, mm-hmm. but like move and shift. What we're going to do is move and shift this KD kid. Stupid. Dumb as fuck. Dude, KD walked in there and he was like, hey, listen, I just want a shooter. Give me a shoot. Give me Mike Miller. Drag, get me Mike Miller, somebody that we can kick to and hit the open three because I'm going to draw attention. And they go get Thabo Cephalosha or whatever, whoever yeah. the other motherfucker was. And it's like, eventually KD's like, Doug, if you're not going to do what I'm asking and I'm Kevin Durant, like I can have an ego. What is he saying this year? I'm Kevin Durant. You hear what he keeps saying? Yeah. I'm Kevin Durant. He's, he's, the, best, listen, he's the best player in the world right now. Damn, it is. I, I have not said it until right now. He might be the best player in the world. He is. It's I always close. go Bron. Because he played, you know why I like KD? Because he played both sides of the ball. Bro, so there was a block he that he had. To. When he wants to. No, yeah. but he's been balling yeah, on consistent. defense. He's been yeah. Consistent. Yeah. So here's a question. Here's a question straight up. Do you trade? I mean, obviously you don't have to do this. But straight up, would you trade KD for LeBron? Right now? Yeah. Yes. Would you trade KD for Giannis? If you're who? Any team. Nah, I'm not trading KD for nobody. I'm keep, If I got KD, I'm you keeping got KD. KD. Absolutely. But if I can get KD, I don't know about Giannis. I'll keep John. John is too young. The upside's too, the upside's the upside's too, too good. Yeah, KD's like... The one thing with KD, his prime. You got to remember there were real you know? injury concerns with him for many years, though. Like who, who? The, With KD. With yeah, his foot. 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 Like, it's been good, but yeah. like that could go. That's the only thing. I that motherfucker can shoot. Yeah. He can take you off the dribble. And now he's playing, de- playing now he's defense. Meeting motherfuckers oh. at the rim. Right. It's a different game. And so here's the question. They're saying that he's going to come to the Knicks. I think one will fuck it up. Oh I think the Knicks will fuck it up. <laughs> Yo, I, lo- I love Knicks delusional. No, 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 no. I'm not delusional. <laughs> Ask Alex. I've been saying from the beginning, we will fuck it up. I know this. Yo, they think that they're going to get KD, Kyrie Irving, and Zion Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I that's what they think. I don't think we'll get anybody. I think we're gonna get Chris Middleton and Tobias Harris. I think that's what we're gonna get. Can't I have him. Sorry, that, that's <laughs> bro. I know. If so KD th- comes to the Knicks, then I. I mean, I think the, the, the NBA is doing that on purpose. So who do you put KD with on the Knicks? You need you have another you have another max salary spot. You go KD, and now you have the choice between Kyrie or Kemba Walker. Who do you? Ooh, put? Either or. I actually would get Kemba. Thank you. I would take Kemba because it's less attitude. Absolutely right. Kemba is gonna be a good number two. And, and, th- and be happy with being number be two. So happy. I would I would definitely take Kemba. Think about how devastating Kemba Walker is now when he has no help on his team. And Imagine- Kemba's from New York. That's Ooh. even better for the stands. I'm getting Kemba over Kyrie. I love that move. I'm but everybody's Kimba. so intoxicated by Kyrie. Nah, brother. And Kyrie's still injury prone. I'm taking Kemba Walker and KD. Now you got something. And if I'm KD, I'm not making no move until somebody goes first. <laughs> all right? I'm like, go first. You, you you go first. You signed? Yeah, you signed? Okay, all right, now I'll come. <laughs> if, if KD does go to the Knicks, though, I really feel that's uh, NBA. Uh, NBA's doing that on purpose. Well, I want them to Because the Knicks the have sucked for so long. We, and it's bad for the league. It's bad for the fucking league. It's bad for the league. And I don't think nobody's going to LA. Okay, what other hot topics do you guys discuss? <laughs> Uh, this is an opinionated dinner. I saw that picture. I was like, yeah, "Whoa!" It was uh, who else? Who was there? It was the two guys from Barstool. Yeah. Um, I can't. Remember, what's the, what the fuck is their names? Big Cat and um, PFT commentator. PF, PF yeah, yeah. commentator. Uh, Jesus was there. Malcolm Mark Gladwell. Tyler, Michael Bennett. Malcolm Gladwell. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, and his girl. Jesse Williams and his girl Taylor. Jesse told his wife she's not getting shit. He did? His ex-wife or something like that. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I saw some tweet saying his wife was asking for like 200000 a month plus 320000 in lawyer Jesus fees or Christ. some shit. He was like, it ain't free ride, shorty. No, it was that. What else yeah. did we talk about? I love about? black women, but not that much. You got, another, you, got, you got a black woman now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a black woman now named Taylor. That's right. She I was like, I love black women. Oh, God. Just because her name is Taylor does not mean y'all no, in the same league. First, but I knew her before she was with Sure you did. Let me tell you how Taylor switched up today. Oh PNB Rock was in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> PNB Rock from Philly. You know she yeah. goes crazy when Philly niggas come in the room. Yeah. Act like she too good for them. But when they come around and they just like 
just still got a little bit of dirtiness in them, but they just started like just started cleaning up a yeah. little bit, right? Yeah, but she yeah. could still see the ash on their knuckles. Yeah, yeah. Turns her the fuck on, right? So she and they just smiling, cheesing, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So PNB Rock is breaking down the difference between different people from Philly. Yeah. He's from Germantown. Oh. He said that's where all the fly dudes come from. You know what I'm saying? That's not true. Then he said, uh, you know, West Philly is where all the bad chicks at. And Taylor goes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I ain't never heard Taylor she was from safe was from West Philly ever in her life. All before it was Lower Marion or some shit like that. Why are you lying? Where do you say where do you say Why you, are you lying? What is the place called? I've said <laughs> verbatim. I said that you I You grew am up from that door to Kobe Philly. Bryant. Look, look, yes. I'm from West Philly. My dad moved our family to Lower Marion, but I was always in West Philly because I only found my cousins and everything else. So yes, technically I did grow up in West she Philly. She only saying that because PNB Rock said all the flyest girls in no, Philly are from yo, West Philly. Yo. Stop making this stuff ne- up. shit never was said ever. You n- and also yeah. for all them people that say I'm from Upper Darby and everything, and you're there, you DM, go. I'm uh, not liar. Like, how people you know from high school know where you're from. Upper, upper Darby, Darby. Lower not, Mary. I thought no, you were from, from Upper Darby, Darby when I met you. Your accent all. is like UD. that. You have an Upper Darby accent. What's Upper Darby accent? What's Upper Darby? <laughs> like, like that shit. Whatever that shit was. That's Upper Darby. You know? That shit is right there. Whatever. You were gonna. You made sure P and B was gonna see you today with that Ooh. sweater. <laughs> She put that neon you green on for yourself. a reason. <laughs> the human <laughs> highlight reel. No. No. Real talk. I've worn this before. I've never seen you wear that. I have. I need Shaq's glasses. <laughs> Listen, first thing PNB Rock said, I said, yo, we got somebody from Philly here. He goes, oh, yeah, I know. Me and that little John was talking outside. Whoa. All right, first of all, that's not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Me and you that little John was talking him? outside. That's what you did. You pulled up on yep. him? Hi, I'm Before from Before the game even started. So, I pulled up on everyone saying, hello, I'm Taylor. And I mentioned, yes. What'd you say? <laughs> I'm a Philly Brett. That's, that's how it's Ashy says. Knuckles, bro. What? Stop saying Them that. Ashy We're Knuckles. Ashy Knuckles. And he got like a beard, but it's not a beard. So it's like real bri- Philly bearded right here, but shaved right here. So you know he could just grow it out. Shit turns around like oh, a motherfucker. Because you see the hope. What? <laughs> <laughs> See the promise in that man. That's what it is. For real. So he's not my type. Oh, what do really? you mean he's not your type? He's not my type. What section of Philly is your type, Taylor? Section of Philly? Yes. I like he don't gotta be I really don't like North Philly guys. I'm not even Why? Lie they they have a different demeanor. Really? Where so are the you, whites in Philly? Where are the whites? Yeah. Uh, they're surrounding us, actually. Like they're, y'all getting in our neighborhood. Like y'all in North Philly. Oh, they're getting y'all to fuck up out of there. That's happening in every hood in America. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> why do you think we have these stop the violence campaigns so we can move in? <laughs> <laughs> I just re- I read That's an what article. That whole shit is about. I actually read an article <laughs> about that. Each other. Times. Is it is it ready? Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> the craziest thing is I read, I read an article about that in the New York Times this week, and a, a lady from Raleigh Durham said. It's not even the fact that the value goes up. Like they said, a white person could come in and occupy the same space. She was like, not only does the value go up, mm-hmm. everybody starts behaving differently. And that's the fuck, That's the most fucked up mm-hmm. shit about gentrification. Yeah. So you're going to talk about the Jay-Z lyrics? Well, it ain't even just necessarily the Jay-Z lyric. It's just the fact that <laughs> black people are really scared to death of white people. <laughs> like that's really all, that's account, really all it boils well, down to. That's, that's really what it boils down to. Chop, chop, everyone. What do you mean it's the consequences? Get your acts together. We see the consequence of the white privilege, though. The What's consequences of white privilege? Like, the consequ- as in, like, if we say y'all two got into a fight, whatever, right? Yeah. Most likely, and say you the one that hit Charlemagne first. Chill, chill, chill. I would, I'm, I would never do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Basically, I'm saying if I kill Andrew, yeah, I'm like going you're to jail. Going, you're still going to go, you're still going to get I'm going to jail trouble. if I kill a black person. Did you too. see, yeah, but I'm just saying they're going to be more hard on you. Like, did you see that? Um, so you're saying like white people get treated like women in the judicial system. Yeah. Because women don't go to jail for shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And they get like did- 10% the sentences of men. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, y'all, y- y- I don't go to jail. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but so white men just I'm have saying. women's privilege. I got you. Did y'all see that viral video of who? Of um, a kid. This officer like just got real aggressive with him, and then the his white friends like stood in and was like, "No, don't touch him to the." And the officer like just backed up because he had his white friends on his side. You didn't no, see that video? I saw the one with the where the officer hit that uh, step back. On a black dude, that was violence. That was police brutality for real, bro. He hit that step back on that black dude. You didn't see that? No. They played one on one. Oh. And then he hit that step Ooh. back on the fucking I didn't baseline. See it. Son, this what white happened? cop jab step step back on the baseline. Up to the 
out with Flame Bro. <laughs> we, uh, yo, <laughs> hashtag Black Lives Matter, yo. You can't be going into black communities and just dropping buckets on them like that. I didn't that see that. Shit that. Shit that. Shit that. Shit that. Shit that. When they shot the cop because he was better at basketball? No, he didn't shoot nobody. What the fuck? White cops go into the hood and they like play basketball to like, you know, establish rapport. And and then they gave the white cop the the ball and he like hit him with a little jab step. Took a couple dribbles to the left. Step back. Dime. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on, pay some bills. I got to curse somebody out real quick. I'll be right back. Who you got to curse out? This guy, I'll tell you when I come back. All right, oh, cool. Shit. I'll tell you when I come back. All right, fine. Guys, clammy hands uh, are not fun to shake in an interview. Thankfully, for hymns.com, the wellness brand for men, you can learn about options to treat the physical symptoms of performance anxiety, like a shaky voice, racing heart, sweats, those palm sweats okay for hymns connects you to a doctor online who can evaluate you and if appropriate prescribe you medication that could help the physical symptoms of performance anxiety and it can be delivered right to your door in discreet packaging this means no awkward in-person doctor's moment uh, appointments don't let performance anxiety get in your way take action at for now listen up you can get started for just $10 right now at forhims.com slash idiots. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash idiots. Now, this is for hims. I mean, this uh, they have multiple things. Of course, we have the, uh, you know, don't lose your hair pill. I mean, I've been on this shit for years. Finasteride is the generic version of it, um, but they have a version of it and they can prescribe this for you. Um, it works. If you look at my hair, check out that HD. If you're watching the video, youtube.com slash the Andrew Schultz. And um, it absolutely works, man. This shit had my hair coming back. I got to find a picture. There's an old picture of me doing a show on music choice. And I like bend down in front of the camera and you could see my my uh, my balding, my male powder balding. And that shit went away. So God bless for him. So remember, that's F-O-R-H-I-M-S uh, dot com slash idiots. Forhims.com slash idiots. See the website for full details and safety information. Um, what? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't believe in that. Say what? Shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has real alopecia. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Do you really? That's why you have your hood on. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what were we just saying? Tell her what was um, the conversation we were, we were just having? How, well, I, oh, he has to tell us something. But I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you you cook, right? Yeah. Do you um wash your chicken? No. You you don't wash your chicken? No. Why? Because white people don't do that, right? <laughs> well, so I've heard. Yeah. Um, because you saw we also don't seat- wash our buttholes in the shower. You saw how everybody took that that conversation we had on Brilliant Idiots and did their own thing with that. Yeah. But the um <laughs> but yeah, the uh, little bath towel or whatever. We don't we don't use that. But yeah, about washing the chicken, it's a stupid thing to wash your meat because you cook everything right off of it. But when we're Nothing can survive fire. You know that, right? But this is how I feel about it, right? So yeah. chicken isn't the night king. But when we're washing it, we're not <laughs> when we're washing it, we're not um like just putting water on it, like we have vinegar, lemon. Yeah, juice, all that like, gets all cooked that. right off. I know, but you don't think it's like weird, slimy? No, I don't, I can't do that. Like I have to wash. That's how I was raised. Like, washing I gotta, your chicken. Yeah, just washing it. Like just because when you pick it up, it's like still slimy. You don't know what they're spraying on it. The process of it. Yeah, but just... anything that is on it gets cooked off. So what's the problem with us just washing it just to be safe? Nobody's knocking you for washing it. If you want to waste no, your time, waste oh, it. There was a big debate. <laughs> say right. that if we do wash our chicken there's mad uh, germs bacteria and you get E. coli or so from washing it yes but that's for like if you just don't wash your sink that's like no. One- so washing your chicken can make it worse yes that's what they said listen do whatever the fuck you want to do <laughs> I was lying when I said I cook I don't cook at all <laughs> I honestly had, hey, I've had my apartment, I think for over like maybe a year and a half now. Maybe it's, I'm coming up on two years. And, and you don't uh, cook at all? My oven doesn't work the entire time I've lived there. What? How are you still? The entire time I've lived in my apartment, my oven, have, oven hasn't worked. I just found out a year in that it hasn't worked because a girl <laughs> was, say, like, how do you a like- girl was trying to cook something and she was like, does this not preheat? And I go, honestly, I don't know. 
I just that you're the first person to turn that nozzle. So <laughs> yeah, the burners on the top work, but not you the oven. You never had to reheat something in I the oven. I have a microwave for that. It's a better oven. You never reheated what? anything in the oven. I re- reheat a lot in the microwave. Like what? I, I don't have, you reheat a pot roast. Why would I put something in the I'm oven? I'm not talking about no. Well, I'm putting like for instance, I'll put something in the oven if it's like. Hmm. If it's like fries, I'll re- you're not even really supposed to reheat fries, but yeah, I'm not reheating fries. Even Listen. but I'll do crab legs though, probably. You'll what? I re- reheat crab legs. Yeah, I don't eat crab legs. What? I just don't get them. Yeah, I'm not. I don't do that. What? I'm not gonna reheat crab legs. No. Wait, you don't eat crab legs either. Period. No, it's. Are you serious? It's a stupid food. It's a stupid food, crab. It's so much well, work for nothing. Work. It's so good, though. Yeah, but you look like an idiot just chewing on we this giant... We look like giant... savages eating it. You're right. We're yeah, right. it's just... It's, but it's so good. Yeah. You know, my my buddy said a funny thing about crab legs. If you ever go to a buffet and there's Asians there, that's the only thing they eat at the buffet. They go right, <laughs> right. for the crab legs, right? Because <laughs> everything else is... Okay, this is... And I was like, I never really put it together, but Asians think the rest of us are idiots at a buffet. Right. Mm-hmm. Because white people, we go to like the pizza, the potatoes, the fries. So we're filling up on all these carbs mm-hmm. and we're not even getting our money's worth at the buffet. These Chinese people straight to the crab legs. They're making a hundred dollars every time they go to the buffet. Yeah. Spend 30. They eat three hundred dollars worth of crab legs. Mm-hmm. Spike the cor- cholesterol through the fucking roof. <laughs> OK. They come out clean up ahead. I spent 40 dollars at a buffet. and I had three slices of pizza. <laughs> First of all, I haven't even been to a buffet that had crab legs. Say what? I've never been. You got to get out of West Philly, bro. <laughs> Real We're, talk. I don't think I would even trust it, though. I, don't... Well, I feel like at buffets... You have to come if you can sit. <laughs> at buffets, that's where all the, like, where I'm from, at least, all the right. black people, they like, literally wait at the at the dish for the crab legs to come in. Right. Like, it'll be I've empty, never seen crab legs. And they'll be waiting there for 30 minutes. And then once they get it, they, they're greedy. And they, and they grab all the crab legs and they fight. It was Donkey of the Day one time when some uh, lady stabbed oh, yeah. the guy. Mm-hmm. For crab, crab legs. I've almost yeah. witnessed that before. Crab yeah. legs are good as fuck. They're really not. Some hot butter? They really are. You haven't had good crab legs. Have you been to the boil? It's not about that. Have you been that. to the boil? Yeah, I've been to the boil. It's, the only reason you think it's good is because it takes work to get it out. No, it does. That's not true. <laughs> That's not it's true it's at no all. It's no different than anal. <laughs> Wait, what? No, it doesn't hurt. We put anal on this pedestal because it's hard to get, right? You got to oh convince a girl gosh. to do it. You have to saliva. You have to use lube. You, it has to be your birthday, right? <laughs> there has to be all these things to make it happen. So when you finally get it in there, you're like, oh my God, I finally got anal. It's like a pistachio. Like, have you ever had pistachios that are already deshelled? Yeah. It's I actually a shitty had it nut. the first time. It's a shitty nut. Okay? Yeah. A cashew is a way better nut. <laughs> but you don't have to do all the work for the cashew. So you think it's less valuable. You have to do all this work for the crab leg yeah. to get a microscopic amount of crab meat. That's not yeah. true. That's what I said. Have it you depends been to what kind of crab. Which crabs you in? Yo, that's what I said. Go to the boil. They have... I've been to the boil. They throw your food in a fucking plastic yes. sack. So what? Disrespectful. <laughs> Work that out. Why am I here? It's like so, when I go to the fucking what? Korean barbecue and they make me cook my own food. It's like, what is your job? What are you doing? <laughs> what did you just trick me into cooking my own fucking dinner? Who's washing the plates? Me? Yeah. Do you want me to take care of that too? I you want don't a tip? know. <laughs> well, I don't know there's a fucking place in Japan. This girl was sending me. There. There's a place in Japan where they make you. Um, it's like part of the gimmick. You fish for your own food. It's like the balls on you. <laughs> the balls on you. You're gonna feed me sushi, so you don't even gotta cook it. And now I gotta catch my own fucking food. <laughs> just send me to the forest. What am I doing here? What am I doing (laughs) here? I'll just rent a fishing pole. It's fun experience. You know what's fun? (laughs) Sitting down, you bring me my fucking food. That's what's fun. You know what's fun? (laughs) Literally, I'm paying to not do dishes. Is that what's happening? Yeah. I don't know what accent you're talking to right now. I feel like you're... Dude, a I'm fucking accent. going <laughs> berserk. real quick. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, heard a little I was livid. Everybody's fishing and there's little things. Oh my God, we didn't get a fish. Now you're hungry. Now you're Dude, starving to I'm death. I'm not paying shit if I don't catch a fish. Bro. <laughs> Where is this at again? Japan. <laughs> Dude, You're I so could not right believe it. I could not. But that's, I have an issue with these places. It's like they try to go all highbrow with their food. Yeah. Right? You don't need to go highbrow with your food. Just bring me the food. You know what I don't like, though, where I really 
pisses me off when what? I am at a restaurant and they don't take the tails off the shrimp. That bothers me. Because what if I'm mad hungry and I choke on the tail? Yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> the ball's on you. <laughs> the ball's on you to think you could serve me shrimp and charge me for it and you didn't finish making it. Exactly. Taking off the shells? No, no, no. You they leave the it? tail. Yeah, they that, take that the whole shell me. off. Yeah, but you don't oh, leave. Yeah. That's disrespectful. They take the little legs, all that hanging like, stuff. I feel like the, the, the tail gives you grip, though. Like when you eat a shrimp and you just pull it off. I, ain't nobody want grip. I got a fork. <laughs> you eat shrimp with a fork? <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Boom. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you eat it? What do you eat it with? Chopsticks? <laughs> no, but like, I'll just... Wait, it depends what we're eating Can we with, acknowledge though. how stubborn... Asians are for not adopting the fork. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you guys doing? No. Bro, it's right there. Just, why would you still use the chopstick? I don't get it. Do you, you, when you eat Every Chinese- time I'm eating with a chopstick, like every time, well, I don't eat with one, but okay. every time I'm eating with a chopstick and like it just falls and you're like, guys, what are we doing here? What, what? Towards the end of the meal, you get, yeah, let me switch guys, to the fork. what are we doing here? <laughs> What, what, what's it, going on? Can I say something? Yeah. It might be ignorant, though. Go. Just say it. So, when I eat Chinese food, whatever, right? Yeah. Like, recently, um, my intern asked if I wanted chopsticks with it. Right. And I said, no, because I'm in America. I would like a fork. Yeah. Is that ignorant to say? Yeah. That's not because... That, that's it's not because you're in America that it's ignorant to say. Right? Okay. It's You want to eat with a fork because I know it's better technology. <laughs> it's easier. Yeah. Right. It's like, hey, would you like Wi-Fi or dial-up? I like to Wi-Fi my yeah. Chinese food. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I don't need <laughs> dial up. Wi-Fi my Chinese food. This- <laughs> you eat smaller portions more slowly. Though. Now, granted, that's why- granted 100%. That's why they're skinny because it takes forever to eat. Like the amount of food that... We- there are fat people that should only be allowed to eat <laughs> with... Like, I believe this. Based, they should weigh you when you walk into a restaurant, and what? based on how you weigh oh and based on your fat gosh. index, they give you the utensil <laughs> that you can eat the food with. So, if you're a fat person, you should have to eat soup with a, a chopstick. One, not even two, because you haven't earned the fork. Does that well, make sense? First of all, you eat soup with a spoon, not a fork. That's my point. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're getting this soup Wait. in too good, so we need to reverse that a little bit. It Clearly, the fork is too effective for some people. Dude, we were, in, we were in Orlando. We were in Orlando, and there was this chick. And this is going to seem mean, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there was this chick, and she, there's this very big girl, and she had uh, braces on. She was like big fat girl, but she had she had braces, okay. and it's like the teeth are working overtime. Yeah, like those work perfect. I don't know, like you don't need to fix that at all. Like yeah. they are chewing and digesting, great. It has nothing to do with chewing though. What is that? Is this well? She her teeth weren't straight. She wants a straight teeth. Well, however they were working, it was <laughs> sawing through food with no fucking problem. Clearly, okay, they were doing their intended purpose. Understand? Maybe you want to have. You know, that's like Maybe an aesthetic choice. stuck in them too because when your teeth are jacked up, food gets stuck in between. That's more food for later. You should be, oh you should be happy. Shut about up. You should be excited about that opportunity. Do you know what I mean? That's a little extra. <laughs> yeah. You never eat beef jerky and then you like suck your teeth a little bit later. You're like, a little more teriyaki mind. beef. Let's go. No. We'll save it for you later. You like that? You've never been eating a, a cheesesteak with that thin uh, sliced meat, go. that paper thin meat go. all up in your fucking teeth. I don't enjoy when I taste that. No, I don't enjoy that. You don't enjoy it a little bit that when it loses all its color, <laughs> no. the meat is just flesh white. No. Never. Ew, no. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Sometimes I'll like pick it out, see what it is. I'll be like, ooh, meat. I'll put that shit right back in. I paid for this. I paid. Listen, if you're going to make me fish my own fish in the restaurant, you're going to make me cook my own fish in the restaurant, oh I'm going to eat all that fucking gosh. fish. Chris, you're Asian. Did you know that <laughs> in Japan there's a restaurant that makes you fish for your own fucking fish? Where is this? I've been to one like that. Damn. Where is, is how there is there not a <laughs> fucking <laughs> revolt? No, bro. Is there a lake or something? It's probably like inside. Like, did you just ask if there's a lake in the restaurant? I don't know how it's working. Like, how it's like a, are you it's fishing? Like a pond? It's in a fucking aquarium. Where do they think oh, they okay, keep so it? I don't know. But they, but it's an aquarium <laughs> around. That Yo, seems fun. Let me tell you something about how how these Japanese are on another level. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Okay. You gonna make that sound all episodes, <laughs> son? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Holy got shit! Jerky in his Go teeth. out there and do it, man. <laughs> Golly. So, so a friend of mine is in Japan, right? These motherfuckers are geniuses. <laughs> they lean in to the animal instinct of people, right? 
they're but I think they got it down. They're polite as fuck in society, mm-hmm. right? But they're not afraid of their like raw animal instinct. Like <laughs> all their porn is crazy. Tie you up, every 15 guys jerking off on a girl, etc. So I think they find the perfect balance. I think it's like, yo, we can walk around and be polite as fuck and obey these rules and everybody treat each other accordingly as long as you give a little space for us to be dark as fuck as well. Do some weird shit. Exactly. And I think in America, (laughs) we operate in this kind of like middle ground where it's like, hey, we're not really polite, but we're not really dark. So we're not indulging in either extreme of humanity. (laughs) And I think on some level it would be better if if we did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think you need to tap into your darkness and light. But like make it obvious. Like, Yo, they're they, not afraid. Like they got, you could cuddle with people. Like it's like ten bucks. Yeah, oh, you just shit. go into like a cuddle thing, and a chick just lays there. You cuddle. Sometimes you need a cuddle. <laughs> Judging, wait, like, right? Like what? Chris, I'm wrong be- <laughs> about this. Yo, they've commodified every desire. They're not afraid. You know how like in, in, like in Western culture we push away desires yeah, in a lot of ways, right? No way. They've commodified every culture. So there are guys they just like to smell panties that girls wore, right? So you could buy some panties at a little kiosk. You know how you buy a Mountain Dew. They be already been used. Already been used. You could buy Mountain Dew, and then right next to it, you could buy some undies with a little dew. Ew. <laughs> we kind of have that, though, over here. What we got? People sell that shit on eBay. You got to go to, like, the fucking the, the, the doldrums of eBay to get some panties. You <laughs> so can't you go. you going to be, like, a fetish store in the mall? Fam, you could go to Uniqlo. You could get your fresh underwear, and you could go to the, the store next door and get <laughs> your see. little wet underwear. That's disgusting. It's disgusting, but people need it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Some people would think it's disgusting to eat, you know, a steakum sandwich with Why fucking whiz it? cheese. <laughs> yeah. Right? If you, do you know what Japanese cheese. people think when they see what y'all eat in Philly? They'd be like, Why are they leaning over? Oh, so the juice doesn't get on their shirt? Pretty much, That's yes. <laughs> I know about a Philly lean. I have a question, though. Go. Back to what you said with um, chopsticks and stuff, right? Yeah. So what what's happening to like the sumo wrestlers, those um, big sumo wrestlers? sumo wrestlers? Yeah, like they how... feed them to get them that size. They have to force them to eat. Okay, it's I not like saying, America the... where we have to force you not to eat. Like it is a <laughs> challenge to get that fat. Okay, yeah. you think that's an actual sport to like get fat? It that's, that's fat. the competitive yeah. advantage. It's like offensive line. It's like ancient too. It's interesting. What was that you were eating on? Um... I forgot what the Ghanaian food you were eating with your hands. Oh, jollof, jollof rice, jollof rice. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, my bad. It's a West African food. Oh, and uh, it's a uh, it we had they don't a, use any utensils. Yeah, we had a jollof off on. Uh, <laughs> had what do you mean? Off? <laughs> no, you're talking about the Somali food that we had. Somali food. Okay. Yeah, 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 that shit was kind of yo, man. Somali food is bomb. The joke I had is like I understand why uh, they ate it all. <laughs> That's why there's no more food there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh, dude, it was really good. We were in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we went and we had this Somali food. Now, here's the crazy thing about Somali food is they eat a banana with everything. Ugh, I can't yeah, eat they, bananas. That's like the Americans eat plantain with everything. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Like pasta, they're eating pasta. With their hand, you never seen pasta with your hand no. eat. That shit is wild. <laughs> when you're in a restaurant, my man's just dipping his hand into the bowl of pasta, breaking off a little bit of banana, and then putting it in his mouth. Dude, it is an experience. Damn. You got to see that shit. But there you go. That's next level. It's like, I don't need chopsticks. Look. I don't need a fork. This is my fork. <laughs> this is a real effective fork right here. So you rather just use your hands. You don't want to use no When you eat chicken wings, you use a fork? <laughs> No. When you eat, a- I'll, I'll be polite though. I like break. I won't like. If there's company, crazy. come on. If you buy if yourself, com- what do you no, mean? Sometimes you t- you're gonna tell me it depends you, you how, just suck the it depends foreskin how right off of that shit. It depends how hungry I am. No, it depends how hungry I am. For real, for real. What you mean? It depends. Like if I'm you not piece apart. Eat it like a pigeon. If I'm not, no, no, no. Hold on. If I'm not that hungry, you white girl. <laughs> you fucking white girl. You look, piece look, apart look, a chicken look, wing. Look. I am. I want to hear nothing about anything from you. Wipes anymore. off the seasoning. Yo, first of all, this I is clean, a little yeah. spicy. What is this? First of all, no. All I, clean, <laughs> I clean the chicken. Like I clean it to the bone, but I'm saying like if I'm hungry, if I'm hungry, hungry, like just yeah. got done smoking. I'm fucking it up. I don't care who's around. But if I'm not that hungry and I'm just like trying to be, yeah, then I'll just take pieces off. But I'm still cleaning the bone that. off. But don't get that twisted. Like a vulture. <laughs> I don't clean the bone off. Because there's some parts there that aren't even chicken. 
It's not the point. You got to make sure, no, like, you just don't. get all. Yes, you do. No, you I'm don't clean your chicken off eat. I'm in America. Fuck? Oh, I do. I you're guys, half black. What are we trying to? What you're oh. half black too? Yeah, right? I eat the chicken. Yeah, you're supposed to eat. What are you doing? I mean, you're you get a pass, but that's oh, not God. that's uncomfortable. <laughs> you I'm very bro. upset with Alex right now. What do you mean? You're supposed to clean. You just say you pick it off like but a I'm fucking pelican. Yeah, that, that's bugging. I've never seen that before in my life. Yo, why do we have to? Cl- this is the stupidest thing that like you have to force yourself to eat parts of the food that aren't even that good. What are you talking about? Everything in the chicken. No, it's there. not that good. Like the like, ends, the ends is, are whack. No, but that's I'll the thing. The ends. You're if used I'm to that. that. Hungry, ch- say what? <laughs> what? What'd you say? What? <laughs> Shit, I might have to go eat some crab legs with Taylor too. <laughs> this girl out here deep throwing a crab leg, like yeah. It's like all, all the, the Asian people shot. looking at her, like, what is she doing? <laughs> You're not supposed to swallow the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love. See, I'm gonna set myself up. Mm-hmm. You love what? Do it. Yeah, no, do it. you love what, Taylor? For the first week, it was yo, fucking yeah, meat. For the first week, you had people in the comments like, yo, Taylor opened up. I kind of like this side of Taylor. Yo, tell her to keep talking. <laughs> Wait a minute. When you're out on a date, do you think that the guy that's on a date with you is observing how you eat the type of food? Definitely. Yes. Do you think I know it's weird do. when I'm on dates with girls and I order like dick like things for wait, them wait, to eat. Wait, 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 you do that shit on purpose? Yeah, I'll, I'll like, I'll be like, oh, she, could she have a banana? And then, <laughs> and then like, just like, I'll be like, you know, maybe she get her potassium up or whatever like that. And then I'll just kind of watch her eat the banana. Yeah. So ladies, if Andrew ever takes <laughs> you to a Somali yeah, wait, restaurant. I gotta, <laughs> that's why I'm in a Somali <laughs> restaurant. It's the only <laughs> motherfucking restaurant that got a banana with everything. Yo, maybe that's how on point the Somalis are. They're like, yo, put a banana in every meal so you can see what that mouth do. Yo. <laughs> Somali's ancient culture are on genius, point. Let's genius. fucking go. And then these bitches got smart and started breaking off pieces of the banana. They're like, ooh, we need to trick them. Get a harder banana. Plant it. Get it in the cage. I'm bigger and harder. You had to see this video then. There's a video of a I saw a long time ago. This video, she's just one of those, um, she's just testing like people out. Who is so she? she? It's just a random girl that, you know how they do pranks? on YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So basically she, she's going up to strangers just eating a banana real slow like that, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm she running could, away. You're running away? Running away. Why? Because that's a setup. Well guys are like, so like what are you doing late? Like they nah, were nah, definitely falling yeah, for it. Nah. <laughs> Too easy. You're running My, I got away, a big bro? ego, but it's not that big. It's not really? that big that a girl's gonna come up and just start deep throating a fucking banana in front of me. Nah. She was she was kinda That's why everybody in California got herpes now. <laughs> That's what happened at Coachella, right? Some girl on Molly starts sucking on some shit in front of me. Like, oh, I should hook up with her. No. <laughs> First of all, if you're from California, kind of you're not crazy, getting no though. dick for a good six months. We got to let that flush out your system. <laughs> you can't flush out herpes. I mean, you can't flush it out, right? But like, it only is, it shows up. Yeah. My point is, like get your it's fresh. Let it die down. It's at full force yeah, right now. Yeah, <laughs> like those blisters are, are like real leaking what was, right now. What's the percentage of that? How many people got? Yo, uh-huh. I don't know. It was like 11,000 new herpes cases in California. Y'all are 11, gross. 11,000? Yeah. That's, That's a, lot. a lot. How many How many summer jams we had here and not one person got herpes? Yeah. You don't want to kiss anybody at summer jams. But jam. at Coachella, I never <laughs> yeah. been to Coachella, but you're only like, pick, it's probably like my people just having sex outside. You know what it is? It's because white people love making out. Yeah, Molly, bro. Summer jams is dude wait, getting wait. head in their fucking Civic <laughs> yeah, in the parking lot. Can we just say During the concert, there was like four different dudes and one girl making out at the same yeah. time. Why do you guys like to make? You are half white too, though. You yeah. like you're half white. Out. I'm not half white. Yes, you are. Why? Because you can't even eat wings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wear neon shirts. You can't even eat wings. You just You're from, from Lower Marion, <laughs> Philly. You're the whitest of white girls. You got yeah. fake dreads. I don't know how else you are white, yo. Real talk. <laughs> you got fake For dreads. You, you got fake my, dreads. So you wear neon shirts. So your so your name is Taylor. Do you know what I mean? You don't know how to eat chicken wings. You eat chicken wings with your fingers. First of all, I said, if it you depends might be an how alien, hungry baby. I am. I told you I'm an alien. Real I talk. Do. Only I an am. alien would look at a chicken wing yes. and start dissecting it. Yeah. Oh, what but go on, what were you saying? What is it with you guys like making out? Like, why do you Why do we like making out? But like, y'all really like- Niggas is making out? Not nah, white people. White people, they make out. You ever see a white person really, really make out? Like, y'all yeah, be like trying out. to eat each other's faces. Yeah, though. we like kissing. No We're rhythm, affectionate we people. No like, when I'm in, when I used to party, it'd yeah. just be y'all just, it'd be over a fast song. Y'all just, it's just weird. What would you rather that? a guy do? A guy look you deeply in the eyes or make it, and make out with you? Or a guy be like, Taylor ain't get kissed in so long. <laughs> 
That's all the shit. She didn't even <laughs> say no, bro. <laughs> she didn't. That's how I know you salty. <laughs> you didn't have this conversation. You wish with, a white man would make <laughs> out with you, man. You didn't have a conversation with this dusty motherfucker. <laughs> she got cobwebs all that. Hey, oh my God. You got cobwebs on it? She working. First of all, what did I tell y'all last time? What? That you don't shave? No. I, I, I heard that. that I did it. I did it. Did I say that? I did it. You did say that. You said you don't shave. You said shave. your legs look like Freeway's face. <laughs> you told me that. <laughs> you did say that. You said, it's a, that. you said it's a Philly thing we wouldn't understand. You did say that. I never said that. That is a fact. I do remember I that. I said, I just let, you know, the guys taste and then I bounce. Taste what? What do you think? Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> but you never said you shaved or you do shave? You I do shave. What are you talking about? I don't know about? if you shave, yo. What? I don't Why? Know. I don't know. Because sometimes your edges aren't laid, and it's like, if, <laughs> if, yo! I'm just saying, if those edges ain't laid, the other yo. ones is rough. You need to drink the other more water. Is rough. You need to drink more water and eat more peanut butter for your edges. I hate y'all. I told you that earlier. Peanut butter good for your edges. It's good for I your edges, huh? First of all, first edges of all, look fine I have today. Edges. So don't make it seem like I don't. Sometimes it you look just like... You're saying that because you don't have no hair. <laughs> nah, today, the edges are good, but sometimes they look more Except like Except for one spot. I can show you one spot where the edge is missing. Leave me alone. No, I'm serious. We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. It's like right there. Let me see. It look like, look like Larry Johnson old part. I have dreads right here. Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, got you, got you. Do you know what the best thing to lay edges down is? Me, personally? Yeah. What is it? Um, Peanut butter. No, I forgot what this com- this company's called, but it has a purple lid. No. I want more for you, Taylor. Well, hook me up. What the fuck? You nah, can't hook me up with these dusty ass guys. And I want like a real. Oh, man. you almost said the I, right there. I'm using. <laughs> you really almost said it. I felt it. But I dusty ass that. niggas. Yeah, she almost said it, and she pulled back because a white was in the room. What you- <laughs> <laughs> see what we do? We gentrify did you, that. Right? Did, you, did you see what happened with this Uber? Is like the neighborhood you were talking about. When we walk in the neighborhood, the Edward start driving. Did you see what happened with Uber? No, it happened. See, I like this kind of shit, though. What Are you going to touch my What? What are you just doing? Oh, oh yeah, I was cursing somebody. Out. It's corny shit. The same old. Listen, man. It's it's the same old corny shit all the time. It happens to me all the time. It's nothing new. You know what I'm saying? You show love to somebody, mm-hmm. and then they end up violating, right? Mm-hmm. So it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a homie from from South Carolina tweeted something to me this morning about somebody else being on Breakfast Club and saying how I've never invited him. So yeah. I do what I think you should do with your homies because I already know how that Twitter back and forth can go. Yeah. I hit him and I just asked him, you know, not a, not in disrespect, yeah. I just asked him how, what make, what, other than me being from South Carolina, yeah. other than us having that connection, yeah. why should you be on the Breakfast Club? What did he say? A whole bunch of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because all I was trying to explain to him was, your resume has to be at a certain level. You got to have a certain amount of buzz. You got to have a certain amount of, of 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 push going behind you. Because guess what? If you don't have that, it doesn't do anything for us. And it damn sure ain't going to do nothing for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's literally like being the tree that fell in the forest and nobody saw. Yeah, we could do an interview with you, put it on YouTube. Who the fuck is going to watch? You had to tell him that he ain't popping. He's not popping like he thinks he is. Can we say who it is? No, nah, I'm not gonna say his name, man. Cause I, cause I, cause I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put him out there like that. And, and that was my whole thing to him just now. What I was explaining to him was, that's how you lose access to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you've hit my phone like, yo, I'm in New York. I want to pull up. Sure. Taylor, how many people reach out and say they want to just come up here? Yeah. Hey, who do I, who do I just randomly let just yo yeah. come up? You know what I'm saying? I still got no clue who this kid is. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we were talking to him for 15 minutes straight on the microphone. I don't know who the fuck he is. It's my camera guy. That's right. Angelo. Yeah, yeah, it's Angelo. <laughs> Angelo's I know his name's Angelo, but that's yeah, yeah. it. That's all I know. <laughs> nah, Angelo's my guy. We, I know we, he comes late every single time. No, nah, we get petty manies together. He's my man. You guys get yeah, petty yeah, yeah. Me, me, him, and Angelo arrived to get a petty manny. Yeah. You should have heard the fucking fingernail shit clipping his shit. He hadn't had his shit clipped in years. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but long story short, it's stuff like that really pisses me off and yeah. really the reason it pisses me off because I have never done them but have open arms for you so right. it's just like yo don't do no clout chasing bullshit I hate when people do shit like that you take the text somebody sent you and post it on social media I can't believe Charlamagne sent me this today that shit is corny yeah you know what I'm saying like it's it's it's, it's it's corny like you a grown ass man like that shit is whack to me especially when we're texting and I say yo I'm gonna call you when I get off the air which I had every Intention of doing, and you know what? I was gonna call him, 
And if I'm out the loop a little bit, I might be out the loop a little bit, but I want to see where you're at because I don't see it. You know what I mean? I see you moving, but I don't see you there yet. So let me listen. Let me, maybe, let me, let me do more talking. Let me do less talking and more listening. Right. So I was going to listen to him, hear what he had to say. And if there was a way I can, y'all know how I get down. If there's a way I can help elevate what he's doing, I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, I might not, I'm not fucking with you no more probably, can to be I honest get, can with I you. Can guess who it is? Yeah, go ahead. Petey Pablo. Shut up, man. <laughs> that was a good guess. Up, that was a good <laughs> guess. That was a good First guess. First of all, right? Petey has an open invitation to the Breakfast Club, okay? Has really? He been? Bro, Petey is a whole legend to me. Has he been there? Nah. Mm -hmm. Petey, not only is Petey a whole legend, right. Petey has had platinum records, and Petey got a hell of a story. I don't think people know Petey Pablo's story. People think that North Carolina, come on and raise up. They hear that song. Right. Not knowing Petey was a whole motherfucking goon right. who did like a decade in prison prior wow. to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would, I would definitely have that conversation with Petey. But the moral of the story is yeah. don't ruin your access to people chasing small moments mm. of social media attention. Mm. Small moments of social media fan. And you on the phone, me telling me, and everybody on my side. Because of the text. I don't give a fuck. Mm. Like, if I didn't have no buzz, you wouldn't have saw that. I follow you. <laughs> well, hey, you said you don't be on Twitter. I'm still at work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Same way I saw the shit this morning, I'm going to see this shit again. We're, I'm at work. We're doing the podcast. I'm looking at Instagram. I'm looking at shit to see if we're missing anything. Right. So it's just like, now, I may not fuck with you ever again. Straight up. Whoa, big one. That's just some, it's just bullshit. Like, that's just, yeah. it's just corny to me. And for, and for him to think that's okay. You know what I'm saying? And everybody always has to be aware of their place in the game. I'm fully aware of my place in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know what my position is. Right. I'm not going to look at, you know, uh, Trevor Noah and and say in media I'm maybe I, I don't know I'd say I'm on that level you know what I mean what do you mean you're way past Trevor oh, I don't fucking know see never mind I'm not even gonna get into that all I'm saying is I know my <laughs> what are you all right talking okay about? well <laughs> a mogul like Diddy Diddy Jay. is different yeah I'm not I'm not I know I'm not that right. you understand what I'm saying so it's yeah. just like everybody has to be aware of their position in the game and that makes you work harder and it makes it that much more rewarding right Andrew how many motherfuckers are noticing your comedy now. A lot. A lot. Why? Because yeah. the Jews have let me in. Man, shut up, man. Stop saying that, Because <laughs> <laughs> you took your destiny in your own hands. Yes, absolutely. And you continued to build your buzz. Yes. To where at this point it's undeniable. Right. And if a motherfucker is acting like they don't see it and not acknowledging it, they're just really fronting on you. Right. Simple as Simple that. Simple as that. Yeah. And that's all I was telling homie, like... And he was like, yo, somebody gave you a shot when you didn't have a resume. That's not true. I worked at four radio stations in South Carolina. I was utilizing the internet. I had right. interviews that were going viral that... You did get shots, but they were like lower on the totem pole. And I think what you're you're trying to say is, hey, this is the top of the it, totem pole. It's so king. Well, no, no, Wendy gave me a shot because he was no, no, aware me, of what I was doing. Right, right. Me, but what I guess what I'm saying is like... You getting on the radio in South Carolina was a shot. Like, all these yes. things are shots. But right now, with Breakfast Club, that's the top of the totem pole. And you're basically saying to this guy, like, hey, there's a lot of other radio stations you know that you could do to get some buzz you before I, you come up you here. You know what I just told homie? What's that? He's like, I'm the biggest artist in South Carolina right now. I said, where how many radio stations in South Carolina invited you for an interview? And what he said? <laughs> None. <laughs> so you need to do <laughs> South like, Carolina like, first. That's, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, it's just it's simple. Like right. you want to you 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 just want to skip steps because I'm and that's the problem. When you know somebody and they know you from the same place and you give them access, right? And you talk to them and you and you know when they they in town you invite them up, they think they, they think that they can take advantage of that. And now mm. they feel like oh I should be on just because they get entitled. I know Charlemagne. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yo, I remember my man. I remember when the baby uh they wanted the baby to come on. Right. I said to the label, I said, man, I I don't I don't want because this is how serious I take the Carolinas. I don't want the baby on if all he got to talk about is his antics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The shootings, killing somebody in Walmart, the shootings, all of that stuff like that. Even though he did talk about all of that. Yeah. I said, is he ready for this look that he's gonna get from being on the show? Right. Right? So, um, my man Chuck T hit me. Chuck was like, nah, Charlie, he he ready. And he gave me numbers to back that up. He's dope. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and music. And I'm like, yo, he is dope. 
You know? So that yeah. made it a much better, broader interview. So I'm like, all right, boom. And that shit did like a million plus views. Right. So that was a great look for the baby. Right. And a great look for the Breakfast Club. Right. So in the case of this guy that's hitting me, what do you have to back it up other than your ego telling you, you know you ready? And I ain't right. saying you're not ready. I'm just saying you don't have anything to back that up. Like where's the buzz? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the yeah. I'm glad. I'm I'm happy for you that some 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 publications in South Carolina are writing about you. Like he like man. I'm not mad. He told me he about to sell a painting for a million dollars. Right. If you about to sell a painting for a million dollars, then you about to be the biggest artist in the fucking country. That's Warhol level. Wait a minute. <laughs> right? He's an artist. Like, not a music artist? Nah, he's a painter. Oh, I thought he was an artist this whole time. Nah, the whole time. Nah, I, nah, like, nah, I don't nah, give a nah, fuck nah. what any fucking painter got to say on a radio interview. Just paint that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm about to go crazy. I just spent the last 15 minutes going, yo, this guy's songs better slap. And you're telling me he uses oil paint? This guy uses canvases? He's a good guy, man. I don't kill mics, I kill canvases. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Is this Justin Richburg? No, nah, you know Justin's our guy. I fucked with Justin. But Justin ain't never been on Breakfast Club either. So this guy got to get in line. <laughs> Do you mean, are you as socially awkward as Justin? He's been, but Justin's been on the podcast. And, and honestly, I would have dude on the podcast. I would have had dude on the podcast. Dude, I, I am furious at this guy right now. <laughs> The fucking unmitigated gall <laughs> that you think you should be on the Breakfast Club for painting. What does he paint? Bro. <laughs> what does he paint, Charlamagne? Paints pictures, man. Paints pictures of what? Things in South Carolina. Who gives a fuck <laughs> outside of South Carolina? First of all, if you put that painting up, I don't even know what the fuck it is. Unless oh, I'm in man. South Carolina. Is it going to be a dirt road with 8,000 people standing on it? <laughs> is that what it's going to be? Oh, the man. The Monk's Corner mural? You know he's about to take this and post it on his uh, Instagram. <laughs> Good. So I just want you to know that. And this will get more views than any painting that he's definitely put. Why don't you put some music on the back of it? Some Petey Pablo. Listen. You know, listen. I root for South all. South Carolina. Listen. Raise I, up your paintbrush. I root, for, I root for all my South Carolina people. And like I told him. He said he's about to sell a painting for a million dollars. To whom? I have no idea. Because I need to get that guy on the phone, too, because I, I got no a painting also. So I told him, I said, if you sell a painting for, number one, if you sell a painting for a million dollars, you will not need Charlemagne in no way, shape, or form. And you are you are Warhol. Matter of fact, let me Google what's the most, somebody Google what's the most expensive painting ever oh, sold. Oh, I mean, millions and millions of dollars. Most expensive painting. Yeah, Picasso's. Picasso, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we're talking about the, the Mona Lisa. If you sell a painting for a million dollars, what type of level are you on as an artist, Chris? Top level? Super top level, right? For a million? I mean, there's there's levels above that, but million, you're in the major leagues. You're in the ballpark. For sure. And that's what yeah, I yeah. told I said, if yeah. you sell a painting for a million dollars, then you're out of here. Yeah, he's not doing conversations at the breakfast club. Exactly. No. I think, but whatever. I think he was just talking. But the moral of the story is, I don't like if me and you have a relationship. Yes. And you have access. We have You have access to me. I have access to you. Yes. We're talking through text or whatever. Yes. And then you take the shit and post it on social media. You're only doing that for clout. Yes. Shit corny, bro. Now yes. I don't fuck with you no more. Now what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. He tells me, I don't trust you. How you don't trust me? Why would I, What have I done mm. to violate your trust? Sure, I mean, this might be the best promo you could possibly do for this guy. Because everybody listening is like, I got to see this guy's art. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, I mean, me too. What's his name? South Carolina. You know Absolutely. You know what? Artist. You know what? Hey, go I look. Hey, go no, crazy. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm a, go look up Mint Nelson. Go Mint Nelson. M e n t Nelson. Go everybody, please rush to his page. M e n t. M e n t Nelson. Please, everybody, go rush to his page. Go look at his artwork. You know, comment on it. Tell him Charlemagne the God sent you. This is uh, this is um, this is here. Yeah, take all his love, my brother. M e n t Nelson. M E N T Nelson. These are yes. these are pictures. They're not uh that one painting on here. Yeah. What'd you do? That's his website? I guess. Son, I see one painting that's of watermelon. If that's not the most racist <laughs> Let me shit. See. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on. What are you talking about? Don't tell me this motherfucker ain't got no pictures. He, he got one picture. No, he does. I'm looking at him. He got yeah, a picture. Nelson. He got picture of watermelon. There's no paintings? No, right yeah. here. Those people ain't paintings? On his I'm on his Instagram. That's where people find shit. They, he, has, he has pictures of people. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> 
He's got stuff on his website. He's got a hat with a grandmother oh, fishing. Let me see that? That's kind of cool. Does he have pictures on his Instagram? I can't. I'm trying to pull it up. I can't pull it up. I'm not gonna lie, man. This picture right here. This 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 worthy of a sway. Man, shut up, man. Have a sway in the morning for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you can get on a sway in the morning with that. Who is that? Strong right Thurman? That's a sway in the morning. That looks like Strong Thurman, yeah. That's not Strong Thurman? That's Strong Thurman? Uh, no, Jasper Johns. Okay. Well, listen, Mint Nelson, M E N T N E L S O N. All right. Please. You're saying he got a million dollars for this stuff? He, that's what he said. He said I mean, he this is, this, is, this is really awesome. No, no bullshit. This dollars. picture right here is dope. I'm, nope. not, I'm not lying at all. He's, he's very talented. If, that, just, if that's in the dope. I, I never said he wasn't talented. I actually yeah. told him verbatim, it's not about talent most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's not about how talented you are. It's about what kind of buzz do you have. Perception. Art's all perception. It, not, supposed, even just, not even yeah. just uh, art, but just in the entertainment business. Right. Why wasn't you on Joe Rogan last year, Andrew? Say what? Why weren't you on Joe Rogan last year? Because of the Jews not letting you. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why weren't you on Joe Rogan last year? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do, do we not tell people? Or? <laughs> right you want to keep? Okay, I'll just keep lying about hard work. And, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, because oh, I, I took my life in my own hands. Yay. Yeah, and I, I really went for it, and I put out all my clips, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, uh, no, definitely the reason. Definitely, but the, the buzz yeah. wasn't there yet. Whew. Huh? The buzz wasn't there yet. Correct. It's there now. Yes. It was past there. Like you were in a different space. You in right. movies and shit. Like right, right, right. The fuck. Right. That's all. That's yeah, all yeah. I'm simply saying. But listen, Mint Nelson, M E N T, N E L S O N, an artist from South Carolina. God bless him. I go to his page. Follow him on Instagram. Follow him on Twitter. I've done my part. But, and do you think it's over between you and Mentz now? As far as what? Like your relationship, your friendship, your love. Listen, I love, I love, <laughs> value, and appreciate my brothers. I actually told him that a few weeks ago because when I was telling everybody to tell somebody that you love me, value, and appreciate him, he texted me. So I texted him back. I love you, I value, I appreciate you. But I'm a work in progress. So even though I love and I value and I appreciate all my brothers, it's got to be fuck some of y'all sometime. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a work in progress. I'm working on myself. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, right. when you do certain things, I'm looking at you like, that's just some clown shit to do. Yes. Like, that's just corny. Yes. That's when you got my number. We just was texting. Why take the text and post it on social media? Yeah, that's a little bit weird. It's corny. Yeah, it's very corny. It's corny as fuck. Like, I don't care yeah. what that, that shit is so goddamn lame. It's like sharing nudes. I can't believe Charlemagne texted me this. You just want a reaction out of people. That's all you want. You want the attention that comes with that. With yeah. that. You yeah. want people to know I... Huh? No, nah, I don't think he tagged nobody. But whatever, man. God bless him. I art is pretty best. odd when you think about it. Just art. It is? Yeah, it's like, why can some people make that? I never understood it. <laughs> like, why Why is it like when I try to draw a face, it, it lo doesn't look like a face? And then some people, <laughs> they just can draw faces. What the fuck is that? No, it's not focus. It's some people have a gift. They can just do it. What the fuck nah, is that? No, that shit is amazing. Because I, I, I can have that shit in my head and... That shit, I, I can. That shit is not gonna come art as a. But why? I I don't know. It's what is it? I think that they have something different in their brain, bro. It's like singing. Some people can just sing. Some I can just cannot sing. sing. You know what I wanted to ask you? What do you think about Joe Biden? Joe Biden. Yeah. I think it is very interesting what is happening now with Biden. Talk to me. I think there's been a. Um, what happens is when you when you say you're going to be president, uh, president, everybody goes into your past and they start looking at all the mistakes that you've that you may have made in your past. As they should, as they should. They, you have they, to vet this person. That's the most important. Like, don't not. And you're running on your record. You're running on your record. Yeah. 100. Um, um, I guess what I, with the cry bill specifically, I would look back and because. I would look back and see who else supported the crime bill at that time. Mm -hmm. And if the black community was vehemently against the crime bill, then I can say, okay, this is some a misstep. This is a time where uh, the black community was completely overlooked and their prayers were not answered. If the black caucus and like the black senators at the time and the black lobbyist groups were like overwhelmingly supportive, I don't think you can hold Biden 
um, against the fire if you're not willing to also hold them against the fire. I don't know about the Black Caucus and the Black Senators. I know that they said a lot of people in the black community was for it, like a lot of black leaders, L- leaders in like the church John Lewis, and stuff right? like that. Like John Lewis was like a huge proponent. John Lewis is a congressman? Yeah, 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 Congressman John Lewis, right? So it was yeah. like, so I guess that's my understanding is like, keep the same energy. Like if he's answering the requests of the black community, then there's a heroic value to it because yeah. he was answering a call that no one else was answering and he was for it. Now, did that call end up not working out? Yes, but he's still answering a call for the community. You know, it's like, you know what it is? It's like, hey, there's this new material called asbestos. This is really cheap and we can build buildings and insulate things and people can be warm and mm-hmm. it can be cheaper to live in. Like, let's start building shit with asbestos. And then 20 years later, we're like, oh shit, asbestos gives you cancer. Do we go back to the dude who who brought up the idea of asbestos and say, and say, hey, how the fuck could you give all these people cancer? He'd be yeah. like, bro, that, I didn't want to give anybody cancer. I just but, wanted to make community safe. But the dude with asbestos would have to apologize for it though, right? Uh, a, a thousand percent, he would have to apologize. Well, the manufacturer for has been sued. I mean, that's what happens. Oh, it's of course like that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. But like, I guess, but I, for me, I would always judge intent. Mm-hmm. If we knew deep down Biden was like, I just want to imprison him as many blacks as possible. Yo, fuck out of here, Biden. But if the goal was truly, because I, I looked at that thing, there's that speech about it. Yeah, when he was on the city floor. Yeah. And, and it was, it was actually specific speech. And he was like, we have to, we have to like nip this in the bud now or else these people will grow up to be this. Yeah, I didn't like that speech because there's so many different parts to it and he says things like he doesn't care about the the, the systemic conditions that put people in these environments and that cause them to behave that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, you're not trying to get to the root of the issue or, right. or, or, or cure the issue. You're just trying to treat the issue. Because that's all that mass incarceration shit was, all that harsh discipline was. Because you by by saying that, you're acknowledging right. that there's systemic conditions that cause people to be in these positions that may have caused them to resort to crime. You're acknowledging that. Right. But saying that we cannot worry about that because they're going to hit people that look like my mother and your mother and look like me and your sister. And I'm like, Nah. Maybe I saw a shorter <clears throat> clip or a, or a different clip. It's a few clips. It's a, like, it's yeah. a, it was like, a, I don't know how long the whole speech was, but I got a lot of thoughts on Biden. Number one, you say keep that same energy. Yes. I agree. I hate the fact that Hillary Clinton, people shitted on her. Yeah. All she was was the first lady when Bill Clinton passed the 94 crime bill. But they held that shit against Hillary. Right. And they're like, oh, Hillary used terms like super predator. So did fucking Joe Biden. I hate the fact that Kamala Harris is a prosecutor. A prosecutor. Prosecutors lock people the fuck up. And they're like, oh, I never vote for her if she's a prosecutor. But when it comes to Biden and Bernie, Biden wrote the 94 crime bill. Bernie voted for it, but nobody gives a shit. So all, if you're going to keep the same energy, right. be consistent all across the motherfucking board. I think a lot of people give a shit about it. Yeah, it seems Who? like... Oh, I mean, look, again... Biden I, is... Biden, like they said, 46% of all black people will vote for Biden yesterday. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. I guess... I guess... I guess... Uh, well, yeah, because there's some, there's some security there because they were with, you know, Biden bro-ism. with Obama. It's broism. Yeah, broism. Broism. But I mean, broism I think exists. What, Whenever that's you have someone not who really. has... Why, they be ready to get you the fuck out of here. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> How many bros you got, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> Very few. <laughs> they be ready to kick me out of the black community yeah. for fucking with you. That is, that is some black shit, though. Like... <laughs> Black people can't wait to make people not black. Woo! Right? Like, it's Man. so... But you know what's funny that I've noticed? And this is just the outsider perspective. It's like, people, you know, you hear and you believe so much about how the great difficulties of being black and, like, the, the things that you have to overcome, right? And how truly hard it is to be black, right? And how do black people punish other black people? They're like, well, you ain't black no more. Yeah. So you think black people are like, oh, so I don't got to deal with that shit? The great difficulties and the tragedies yeah, and all the shit to overcome. Yeah, it's still there. Like that don't that don't change shit. Nah. But it is a weird thing to like remove blackness. It's a it's the it's the it's the cancel culture. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's all. It's the fake cancel culture. But we need a cancel cancel culture. Absolutely. You know what else about Joe Biden too? And this is stuff that I have just been researching. Yeah. When you make a statement and you say, and I'm not saying I wouldn't vote for Joe Biden. I'm just simply saying that. There's certain things you got to question. You got to question people's record because there's certain things that I see about Joe Biden. And I'm like, why would Barack pick him as his running mate? Joe Biden once said that Barack Obama is the first mainstream American that is bright, articulate and clean. (laughs) 
Like, think about that. Wait, wait, wait. There, there was a big article quick, about Chris, this. Real quick, Chris. Yeah. Uh, just clarify. He's the first mainstream American that's bright articulate clean. No, first African mainstream African American. American. Oh, African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, first mainstream African American yeah. that's bright, articulate, and clean. I think. I think uh, there's been a few before that. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many black people are you around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Biden. Yeah, yeah. You just hanging out in Philly? What's I the mean, Biden's Philly? Biden's old yeah. enough to. <laughs> No yeah, Philly. Yeah, you hanging out in yeah, North Philly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> what was the context in which he said that? Because we know context is important. Him as a candidate. He was a, he was evaluating him as a candidate. As a candidate. That's yeah. different. Nah, bro. First mainstream African-American candidate. That's bright. So name the other candidates that are African-American. He didn't say candidate. He said first mainstream African-American. He was, he was talking American. within the context. context of the race. This was when Barack first emerged as a candidate. He said First mainstream right. African American that's it's, bright, so articulate, clean. You're somebody that that you know has been has been punished heavily by people not applying context to things that you've said that mm -hmm. seem problematic. Is it fair that maybe we're not giving Joe the benefit of the doubt in this situation, and maybe he's referring to um, by Obama not as a black man? but just as a presidential candidate. And then we would be comparing him to a Jesse Jackson. We'd be comparing him to who else is right. I'm pretty sure he yeah. apologized for that statement. He, it, so the story was, it was a big problem and he apologized. Barack publicly stated, I don't have a problem with Joe Biden. That was like the exact quote, but the, the back, I just read a big article about this. The back story is Barack was like, Joe Biden, the same way people are looking at him now, represented security. He was still an unknown. He was the first. Yeah, so you, you know, need a rock. He made a compromise. But the story, at least in this article, the narrative is it was a compromise. They clashed a lot initially. And then over, because Barack's very calculated and Biden's a bit of like a loose cannon, especially what he says publicly in the press. Mm -hmm. And they clashed a lot. And, you know, eventually they built this friendship and then it turned into like a real bond, especially when Biden's son uh, was diagnosed with brain cancer and died. Like for whatever reason, they mm -hmm. really bonded on that. And it was actually Obama who talked Biden down from running in 2016 because Biden was going to try to run because, you know, you're the vice president. Now it's yeah. your shot. But. Basically, Obama tried to tell him, like, in a kind of backhanded way, like, you're not going to, you're going to get wiped out. And plus, you're not emotionally ready to do it right now. Your son just died. Right. You're not ready to go on the train campaign trail. It's Hillary's turn. This is the deal we've all worked out. But now, it's like, you can't really stop him. Like, he's going to do Barry, it. Barry, tell him Barack hasn't endorsed Biden. Why yeah. wouldn't you come out the gate endorsing the guy that rocked with you for eight years in a row? I think he rocks with him. I just think well, he but knows wouldn't you come out the gate with an endorsement? I don't think so, because I think there's a lot of negative Obama sentiment. And mm. I think that that exists not only amongst conservatives, <clears throat> but amongst black liberals. I think that there's a little bit of a movement amongst black liberals that's like, well, what did Obama really do for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so maybe Biden is going, well, shit, if I line up with Obama, all these Trump guys that hated Obama, they're not going to go with me. And the black vote that's slowly starting to feel like Obama maybe didn't represent them to the fullest of their ability, they might not go with me. So why don't I just not talk about it? You know, Joe Biden did the eulogy at Scrum Thurman's funeral. Did really? not know that. Yeah, do your Googles, bro. <laughs> did not know that. And I, ain't, and I ain't shitting on Biden. I'm just saying there's some questionable shit when you actually go look at the fuck shit Joe Biden Yo, was doing. can we acknowledge that this is the most powerful position in the world? And if you do not extremely vet this person that we're being, we're not doing our due diligence I, as voters. I'm trying to, I'm like, well, where was all this information? <laughs> but I guess that's what happens when you run for president. Oh, everything And I'm sure this shit was out. already out there. Yeah. Like, and, and listen, and I'm not saying that any of those things are reasons not to vote for Joe Biden. All I'm simply saying is it's good to be Just aware. Because this man is 77 years old. It's hard to teach an old white man new tricks, bro. Yeah. I was seven, how old is Joe Biden? 74? I don't fucking I think know. He's, uh, he'd be 80, I think. If he was elected. So That's what I, hey, like man, I'm just saying, man. Yeah. I mean, the, the counter argument is, yeah, when you've been in public service for 40 years or whatever the case Very is. Very true. I read a great article about gonna that. There's going to be a lot of Cultural stuff changes. that you might have moved yeah, off yeah, of yeah. versus someone who, A, doesn't have a traditional political background or B's only been doing it for, you know, a yeah. shorter amount That's of time. That's why intent matters, right? That's why the intent of every bill that you sign and agree to matters. It doesn't matter what happened as much as the intent does, right? Because... If you're in public office, as long as these guys are, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, and I'm fine with that, but admit to them. 
That's all. Oh, just oh. admit some of the shit you did was wrong. Right, right, admit right. some of the shit you did didn't work. Right. Like you like listen, I'm learning and unlearning every motherfucking day. Right. I'm doing more unlearning at my age right now than 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 anything ever. Right. right. It's fine. Just admit you were wrong. Admit yeah. you made some mistakes. But I feel like, man, a lot of times, especially when people are running for fucking president, you can't trust nothing they say. Now you want to call Anita Hill? <laughs> you need a hill. You don't know who Anita Hill is? No. Is Anita that... Hill was uh, the woman who sued uh, Clarence Thomas for sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. huge, huge case. And Biden famously came down harder on her on the stand than probably even some of the Republicans. So it became like a clash. It was like the one of the first big. You really never heard of Anita Hill? No, I don't. It's one of like the first you big. Remember the pubic hair on the coke? Pub- pubic hair on the ice cube? Right. It was during. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You don't remember the pubic hair on Ice Cube? No, but I think we've got Mint Nelson's newest painting. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yo, Mint, all jokes aside, pubic hair on Ice Cube might rip. <laughs> that was flat, bro. That's your Breakfast Club interview right there. Make it. But go on. So, uh, yeah, she she was, I, believe, I don't remember the case exactly, but, you know, essentially she worked in his office in some capacity, accused him of sexual harassment. Um, and then when it was time for him to be confirmed, it became a huge kind of battle situation. But Biden actually was, even as a Democratic senator, was like one of the most kind of aggressive towards her and kind of undermining her and questioning the legitimacy of her claims. Um, and that kind of ties into the whole thing with Biden, where it's like, if you like him, the positive is that he's willing to work with Republicans, right? Right. If you don't like that, that's one of the big negatives against him. So it kind of depends where you land on all that sort of stuff. All right. If you, if, here's a he's question. He's a guy who's going to play ball in Congress. So you might not question, want that. Guys. Charlemagne. Yes. At what point, at what point is the extreme vetting of the candidates just going to fracture the party and give it, it being Democrats, a worse chance of beating Trump in the I impending election. I don't think it's screen vetting of, I think if it's anything Donald Trump showed us, it's screen vetting of a candidate doesn't hurt. Because you're still going to vote for whoever you want to vote for. All I'm simply saying is be aware right. of the person's record that you're voting for. Like, I'm not voting just because, like, yo, you can't do a video, you know, saying, you know, you were prompted to run because you didn't like the president's response to Charlottesville. Not being racist should be the bare minimum of what we ask for our motherfucking president. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not enough for me. I, I'm i not racist. Right. So you should vote for me. No, bro. What's your policies? You know what I'm saying? What's your what's your initiative that you're going to implement? How are we going to move America forward in the next 10 years? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to know. So I mean, what do you like? Wanna... You've been invested. I've seen you doing the CNN thing. I like a little, like... I, I'm not going to front. I like people for different reasons. I like Mayor Pete. Yeah. You know, I like Kamala Harris. How do you uh, pronounce his last name? I don't know. And okay. there's no need for me to say something. And How is it? Buddha Judge. Buddha Judge? Oh. I thought it was like Buddha Judge Judge or something like that. I thought it was Booty Guy. They tried to get. They tried to fuck Mayor Pete up the other day, yo. Oh yeah, with the you chicken that and shit? the macaroni and the, the greens. But no, no, man. <laughs> The what? plants, the plants, the bullshit. No, nah, you didn't see the picture of him. <laughs> He's sitting down with Al Sharpton. He got it. He got some chicken. He got some mac and cheese. He got some collard greens, but no fucking oh, silverware. Man, if that so isn't the most stupid, obvious man. photo op, look at this picture, yo. He got no silverware to eat the food. No, it's so clearly black people vote for me. I eat the same food as you. I do. I where do the wonder. Say, where the chopsticks? Listen. I do wonder about Mayor Pete's diet. <laughs> Say what? I, I do wonder about his diet. I know he's a young what? man. Let me ask you a question, Charlamagne. Can, can I ask you a question, Charlamagne? You didn't see this, bro? Charlamagne, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Let me get it. Oh. Uh, can I ask you a question? Do you think Mayor Pete's husband wants Mayor Pete to be eating spicy-ass collard greens, yeah. fried chicken, and macaroni do and cheese? Do you think... I love Mayor Pete. So does his husband. And he got to deal with the remnants of that. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> yes, you do. I know. I really do. <laughs> yes, you do. That's why he didn't have silverware. He's like, don't even put it here. I'm not eating none of this. I don't know what you're trying to say. Read that. Okay. Far right smears, uh, far right smear merchants try to slime Pete Butted Judge with bogus sex assault claim. Oh, yes. These two fucking trolls were going around. I don't even want to say their names. Yeah. They got them on tape, though. 
So they were going around. They uh, was trying to set Mayor Pete up with a fake sexual assault shit, and he sexually assaulted some young boys. Yeah. Or just anybody. They were like going around asking people, yo, has Mayor Pete ever done anything inappropriate to you? This, that, the other. I mean, this is... One of them, the- somebody actually posted that he did do something to them, but then they took it down. Oh, yeah, they was trying to go in. But this is the climate, right? This is... It is a weapon. This type of shit is a weapon to get someone out of here that you don't like. Thank you, Pedro. It's That's dangerous. a fact, 100%. I like Mayor Pete. I like um, Kamala, and I like Tim Ryan. I don't know Tim Ryan. I like Tim Ryan. Tim Ryan is um white. Is he a white? He's white. He's in the House of Representatives. He's uh he actually represents Ohio, and I like him because he's big on SEL, social and emotional learning, mm-hmm. and you know implementing you know social emotional learning and therapy in schools. Um, he just he just seemed like a cool dude. Like I liked him when we interviewed him on the on the Breakfast Club. Like he's solid, and I like people who have some political experience. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I, those three are the ones I really really like at this at this moment. Mayor Pete, Kamala Harris. What is Mayor Pete saying that he's going to do for black people? Because I know that's very important for you is the black agenda. Um, he talked about uh he talked about. He, he said something another day where it was, he said, you know, we talk about housing and giving people affordable housing, but, you know, that's not enough. You know, you have to en- empower these people so they can afford their homes. Like, I, I can't I, I can't remember exactly how you worded it, but when you ask him what his black agenda is, like when he was on Breakfast Club, he, he has one, you know? Or he understands why the conversation about reparations needs to be had. He understands America acknowledging, you know, Probably its greatest sin. He understands that, you know, systemically America did things to put black people in a certain position. So they should systemically do something to get them out. Now, how that looks is always up for debate. You know right. what I'm saying? That shit is not checks in the mail. You know what I mean? Right. That right. we that we know. But it's just like something should be done. And, you know, they're talking about H.R. 40. I think H.R. 40 should be passed. Why shouldn't H.R. 40 be passed? It's H.R. 40. It's a bill that is 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 is, is for the research and the study of reparations and then the development of what that reparations would look like. And they've been, that's been, you need a bill to they, study. That's bro. That's what the fuck I said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they've been, they've been passing this shit for over 20 plus years. They've been trying to get it passed. For over this 20 is plus a years. bullshit talking point. This is, this <clears> is something that it's one guy. <clears throat> Who's the guy, Chris? In regards to what? The guy that's been trying to pass HR for the every every year he tries to push it through Congress. Don't you know mind. what I'm talking about? I don't. Hold but on. The, the, this is nonsense. It's not legislation. He's wasting his time. All you have to do is ask some committee to don't to donate funds or not donate funds, but delegate funds to the research of reparations. John Conyers. Connors. Okay. Yeah. Connors. Yeah, yeah. Is it John? Is it Connors? John Conyers. I believe yeah. he's from Michigan. I don't know where John yeah. Conyers is from, but he's been literally. Trying to get this passed through Senate because that's—I mean—I guess that's the first step. I guess it's still legislation. John Connors, isn't that no, Terminator? Man. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That shit don't look like. Con- isn't that John Connors? C O N N Y E R S. Former rep from Michigan. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He first introduced the bill in 1989. Hmm. So this is not nothing, this is not anything new. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically the study. Commission to study reparation proposals for African Americans. Right. And he said he's 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 been trying to get it pushed through since 1989. And he said he'll continue until they pass the law. So it's it's not it's not something new. It's just a conversation that's actually been elevated. That's all. Now, do I think it is a talking point for a lot of Democrats? Absolutely. 100%. It's a hot button topic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, a, it's like, yo, let me tell everybody what they want to hear. Just begging for votes. Like- honestly, it's the worst question to fumble, though. Do you agree? Yeah. With. The study of reparations. Or do you agree with African American reparations? Yes. Very easy. <laughs> well, the study thing is the easiest question. Yes. When you go, do you agree with reparations, the perception of what reparations is versus what you're bringing up are different. When a when a congressman goes on breakfast call, he goes, I absolutely agree with reparations. White people think, oh shit, we just got to cut check. checks. Right? Yes. What you're saying is maybe there are systemic ways to uplift a simple. struggling community. Oh, simple. So that's what they just have to clarify. That's it. That's why people got so mad at Bernie, but what Bernie actually said was true. Bernie was like, what does that look like? <laughs> like everybody got let's mad. Because go. he didn't answer. Like, no, what does that look like? I'll tell you one thing about Bernie, and this is why I vote for Bernie, right? Even though I disagree with him on a lot of economic shit, this is why I vote for him. He wants to help. 
He um, truly wants to Elizabeth help. Elizabeth Warren too. Say what? Elizabeth that Warren too. Goofy ass. Bullshit. Nah, that girl's Bullshit. a goofy. Oh. Whatever. The woman. You're, she you're buying into the Trump. I shit. drink beer with my husband. Whatever. Hey, you care would you like to Bernie watch me to drink she beer, beer with Bernie my Elizabeth, husband? Bernie and Elizabeth are essentially the same person, though. The only and listen, Ooh. and I would vote for Bernie. I vote for the Elizabeth. only problem I have with Bernie is. The long hairs coming out his ears and the long hairs coming out his motherfucking nose, bro. Because he don't got time to cut it because he's trying to help. That's right. true. <laughs> Everything about this motherfucker is trying to help. I know he looked like the bad guy from Sonic. It doesn't matter. He's trying to help. Okay? He's trying to help. He's doing his best to help. And that's the one you want to go with. I'll fuck with him. Listen, I would have voted for Doc Brown for president. Bernie is the closest thing we're going to get to Doc motherfucking Brown. <laughs> Run it back. It didn't work. Run it back. That's it. Build a DeLorean. Yo. <laughs> hey, it didn't work, bro. It didn't. Run it back. Oh, the, oh shit. They shot Lincoln. Run it back. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the play's whack. Son. Don't even go. Don't go to the play. It's whack. Trust me. Run it back. Oh. Doc Brown would be the perfect president. <laughs> run it back. That's his campaign. Yo, we can run it back. Yeah. Listen, once again. I, I, I'm not. I'm not knocking Joe Biden. I don't have anything. Against you don't fuck Joe with Biden. Joe. I could tell, and that's fine. I'm just listen. It's just a lot of things. Yeah. That I didn't know. Yeah. So you got to look at people's record because I just think that when everybody conveniently starts running for president and they just start telling you everything you want to hear. Yo, Elizabeth Warren like, out here telling you what you want to hear, bro. I'm beyond with y'all. I don't. I, I don't really listen to Elizabeth that much. I don't. Either. She's been don't. doing it consistently for a long time, man. It's not What's like she's been doing. She's been trying to help, like you said, progressive. You know who I, fell off, bro? Who? You know who, man, Pete got the fuck out of here? Who's that? Beto. Beto O'Rourke. They said adios to him. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's not over yet, man. He's a goofball, bro, too. Yeah, I, I, I know Beto's that. a goofball. Your name is Albert, dork. Stop. His name is not Beto. He's Get a the white fuck man. Out of here. Son, do you <laughs> see what these people do? He gentrified himself to get, get the, the Latin vote. Here. His name is Albert O'Rourke. He uses the name Beto so that he can seem um, amenable to the Latin voting. Really? Of course. These people are fake. You know, all of a sudden, Elizabeth Warren is like, black women die during birth. We got to do something. All of a sudden. What? Uh, yeah, that huh? black, the black oh, some, some good time the black and infant mortality rate. Some no, good time and Liz. Chris, the black infant mortality rate has been jumping for a while. I'm telling you, but I, I, I agree with some of what Andrew's saying. Son, it's Bernie just, it's, consistent. It's, it's the timing he's of yeah, every communist. Been. Yes, he has been. all he wants to do Warren is to make America too. communist. Been too. But he's consistent about I it. I will it's say so though, I've, I, I, I've, I've, I've had senators tell me, you know, um, I've had senators tell me off the record that. When it came to like black issues, whenever they would be presenting black issues on the Senate, mm. Bernie wouldn't be around, or, and Biden wouldn't be around, and that's what they would say. That and that's what they would they they will say to me when these people, when you're talking to these people, don't just ask them what their what their black agenda is. Yeah, ask them what their black agenda has been. Right. What have what have they done? Yeah. For 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 African Americans yeah. throughout this whole time they've been in the Senate because it's a lot of them that say yo when they were on the floor putting certain issues out there that had to do with the black and brown people these people were not showing up. And that's right. to me that's 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 good intel to have. But maybe I, Bernie I will, was busy helping the one black in Vermont. Boom, and that's what I will say. In Bernie's defense, he was helping ain't him. no black people in Vermont. There's one, <laughs> and he <laughs> was like Jamal, I can vote on this bill or I can help you with your uh, you know laundry. But, but think about that. There's really no black people in Vermont. One. Maybe two. Two. Right? I'm sure yeah. he has a partner or a, yeah. a woman or whatever. So, Bernie. <laughs> if you move to Vermont, you're going with a white woman. So, it's a lot of issues <laughs> that got to do with African Americans that Bernie just may not be familiar with. Right. Because you don't have to deal with them in Vermont. Right. When you're from these big cities, you know what I mean? Or you've been a senator in some of these big places where it's more yeah. of a black population, you understand more of the black issues. Yeah. That's, that's, no, he that's, did say when he ran last time, he's like, being poor and black and is different than being, you know, poor and white or is different than being poor and anything else in America. It was an acknowledgement of the difference in, in lifestyle here. I yeah. And he got grilled for it. Remember last election when he was in the primary and he know. got destroyed by the working class whites because they were like, no, it sucks being poor and white too. You know, and I thought it was, look, I didn't think it was a, a well calculated move, but at least he's acknowledging. All I'm saying is like, all these people are sociopaths. You want to go with the person that you feel like you can trust the most. And that's saying, and that's saying a lot for any politician. I don't give a fuck who it is. You're a sociopath. If you trust a politician in, in, right now in this climate, you're out your goddamn mind. Of course. This is dream selling season like a motherfucker. Of course. Come on, bro. That's the thing. You know, It's been very quiet for Kamala, but I think she's going to have a push. 
I think she's the, she's doing the smartest yeah. shit. Let everybody else go out there and cannibalize each other. It's Game of Thrones. Do, I'm I'm out here working. Yeah. I'm in South Carolina. I'm in goddamn Michigan. I'm in Listen, Iowa. You know her, what I'm saying? Her tough record is gonna help her. You know, I, how people that's gonna with whites. Whites are gonna feel very comfortable about that, bro. There I'm not go. even gonna say who. It's white people in my life that are like, I like hey, the fact she was a prosecutor. Uh, <laughs> you know we like saying? authority. We like rules. That's that makes it. white people comfortable. It's tough. Okay, we're the only people that call up the city and go, the, the light is broken. Because we like the light to work. When can I cross the street? When the light tells me. I think Kamala is going to have a major, major push as we get closer and closer. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I want the freshness. I do. That's why I like the Mayor Peace. That's why I like the Kamala's light. That's why I like the Tim Ryan. Who would you like Bernie to pick as a running mate then? You got, First of all, any white man... Yeah, and the Democrats that makes it to the primary has to pick a woman. I know that. So who you, would they, you like to in this pick? era? You have to. I would like. I'd love him to pick Kamala. That's a but, odd couple, but it could yo, work. I love that because he's this softy right. and she's tough, strong, yeah. hard nosed. Ooh, that is an interesting. I don't know if Kamala Biden, would go for listen, it. Though. Biden Kamala is a great ticket. You know what I'm saying? No, no. they were saying uh, Stacey Abrams with him. No, no Stacey no, already no, said no. no, no, no she no. said no? Yeah, she, okay. I, 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 yeah. I don't know if that, I, I read somewhere that Stacey already said no. Stacey would be a good look too, though. She'd be great because now they got the fast food in the White House. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this guy's so stupid. What's wrong with this guy, Chris? <laughs> Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's why she said, I'm not doing vice president. I need to be close. Listen. Listen, any <laughs> we man. Got, we got Wendy's? Any man. <laughs> this guy here. Any man. That's white. That comes out of the Democratic. Right. That becomes a Democratic nominee has to have a woman running mate. Yes, they they have to. I love Kamala. I love Kamala Biden, and I love Kamala uh, Bernie. I think Kamala Biden is frightening for the Republicans because they're both on the conservative yeah. side of liberals. Yeah. And now you're going to have a lot of those fringe conservatives who have felt that Trump didn't answer their needs the yeah. way that he said. They're looking for something else. And they come sliding right in. I think Kamala could win now if, you know, it, it, but I, I think she could win now if everybody stopped, you know, drinking the Biden, you know, Bernie Kool-Aid. Because once again, the same reasons that y'all are upset with Kamala are this, it, Bernie and Biden have the same type of violations. Exactly. Like B Bernie voted for the crime bill. Biden wrote the crime bill. So if you're mad about black and brown people being locked up, yeah. you can't just hold Kamala accountable for that because she was a prosecutor. Because nothing got more black and brown people locked up than the, the, the Joe Biden crime bill, as he called it back in the day. Right. So, you know, I, I think Kamala could win now if everybody stopped drinking that Kool-Aid. But if she ends up being, you know, on somebody's VP ticket, I think that. Any combination of Biden, Kamala, Biden, Bernie kills. What about I, 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 I jump out the window and say, and Kamala and Mayor Pete. That's what about? So you go Kamala, yeah, and and Mayor Pete. Yeah, and then people say things like, "Oh, America's not ready for a woman of color president. They're not ready for a gay president." Man, we don't. Man, roll the goddamn no, 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 dice. No, no. Yeah, there's America doesn't care as long as you satisfy their. Nobody gives a fuck what you are as long as you feed them and house them. Isn't that the ticket though? Think about it, right? Barack Obama, first black president. Oh, I want a black president. Black president. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Oh, reality star, never win. Nobody One. cares. We need some spice, baby. Satisfy the woman of color urge. and gay man running for president and Mayor, vice president. He got to go by Pete Booty Judge. That I really believe. If he <laughs> Shut went up, by man. Booty Judge, dude. <laughs> booty ju the Judge, bro. The Booty Judge, dude. You can't lose. Oh, he's never heard that one before. No, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Pete's never heard that. I'm just saying that is marketing right there. That would be killer marketing, bro. He could win. It's not as many gays in. Well, you know what? That's I, I'm about to say. It's not as many gays in America as people think, but it is. Because there's a lot of gay people that are openly gay. And then there's, and there's a lot of people on the down low. And, and then, then there's all of Atlanta. Think about think all about them letters they got. That's a big population. Say what? <laughs> all them letters. L G B Q T. They just keep adding things. Yeah, I'm th this th I don't know why they don't take the alphabet at this just point. Just take the whole thing. <laughs> Throw white in there too. <laughs> L G B T Q W. What? Huh? Wait, hold on. We we part of this? Huh? What? <laughs> Listen, man. I like that ticket. I like Kamala Mayor Pete, but I, I I like Tim Ryan too, though. I don't know who Tim Ryan is. I like Tim Ryan, man. I you should, you should look into Tim Ryan. I like Tim Ryan. Joe Biden. 
Kamala <coughs> Harris is the scariest thing for Donald Trump. The scariest thing for Donald Trump, without a doubt, I agree. is Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. If, yeah, probably. If, and, but, but Chris, that's if the Democrats don't uh, cannibalize Biden. Because right now there is the move to go, he's racist or he did these things, he's not serving black people. And then Dems will eventually go, okay, he's not the one for it. Yeah, but that's, if, that's, that's not my personal ticket that I would pick. But it would be but most it's the most winnable ticket right. in my What's your opinion. personal ticket? Personal ticket uh, some combination. combination. Mao Zedong. Right. What? <laughs> Andrew Wang. <laughs> Andrew Wang and who, Chris? No love for Andrew Wang, right? <laughs> Andrew Wang and who, Chris? It's Proud. Yang. It's Yang. Yang. Who's Proud. Wang? You just oh, Andrew Wang is the writer. No, yeah. who's the Wang? Who? You're thinking of the guy Wang. from yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Master yeah. of None. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Both proud Taiwanese men, so obviously. I interviewed him for my new uh, I show on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I would like some combo of uh, Warren and Bernie. Nah. Warren and Bernie? I know, I know it's not the. I'm just saying if if I'm Jesus picking the people whose policies are close. Joseph. It's not the Anybody most uh, listen to pragmatic. Elizabeth nah, Warren drink Bud nah. Lights with her husband and Golden Whatever. Retriever. Don't for the buy into all that years, fucking dude. bullshit. The Trump knows she's a threat. That's why he's trying to cut shit yeah, out from under her. Is she really goofy? a threat, though, Chris? Yeah. Oh, she's sure. a goofy, What's so goofy about her? Say what? What's so goofy about her? Uh, uh, ready? I'll show you. Ready? Sure. Oh, here's a beer. Oh, duh. It's got bubbles in it. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a little tough going down, but I love I just love a good beer after a hard day of work. Oh, I don't know what you're talking here's about. Here's my but husband. Anyway, so. Oh, hey, honey. Do you want a beer? Yeah, this with is the narrative that they want you to buy into. Huh? But I've read her 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 proposals on housing and student debt, and I think they're both good. You know, she's like not I, dynamic enough to me. Well, I mean, yeah, she might not be dynamic. She might not connect with people, but her everything. policies are you good tax You don't got to pay for it people. anymore. No, it's not her That's solution. That's her solution to everything. It's she does, got some loans, you she don't got to pay she, for those. She does seem like she's running on Bernie's old blueprint. From she's running years. on Oprah's blueprint. Look under your seat. No college loans. Look under your seat. Everybody gets babies. <laughs> I can't believe people fall for this shit, man. Say it's what? crazy. It's crazy. That's not what she's saying. She is. So tell us, Chris, what is she, what is she she's saying? Gonna, she's going to tax the richest 1% or 2% and then get a lot of services out of that. That's not saying nobody has to pay for anything there's a free Buick under your seat but yeah it is increasing the taxes on the people in the country who can afford to bear it the most I have no problem with that let me ask you a question Chris, Chris, sure. Chris assisted. this is like. real shit Chris yeah, I mean please. this I'll pay more taxes here's your answer <laughs> what do you say I'm, uh, I'll pay more taxes I'll cut to the chase real shit. I'm this okay real paying shit. more taxes okay? yeah. um, we need you know a lot of being a president is about making deals right sure now do Native Americans have a good track record with deals? Okay, all right. I gotta talk to Wax. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> wow. You know, you know that was a hot take when somebody says I'll go talk to Wax. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather talk to Wax than, 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 than talk to you. Uh, all right, let's man. Bars, man. Yo, 50 cent. The goat. Can, can you explain what happened to me? Do you know what fully transpired? I, I, I have no idea. I know guy, Randall. So Randall's my guy, you man. You know him. Yeah, man. I know Randall, man. Me and Randall have kicked it. Like, me and Randall got things going on. Like, I fuck with Randall. Really? I like Randall. But, yeah. I, listen, I don't get in between uh, people's business. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Exactly? I don't, I really don't know. All okay. I know is that Randall owed goddamn fifty cents some money, a million, and he was not paying fifty cent back in a timely manner. So fifty cent took it to goddamn Instagram. I love it. <laughs> and fucking Randall came up off that bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like fifty can do that. I guess I don't fucking know. Now. That's my question. I, see, that's weird to me though, because I, I and I, I wanted. I meant to hit fifth too. I forgot. I wanted Randall. I thought was the money guy, right? So I thought he was behind power. I thought he was behind the upcoming BMF film. I don't. I don't know. That's what I thought. Right. So I don't know. I, I meant to ask fifth about that, but the long story short, fifth got his goddamn money. Why is fifth able to get away with this when nobody else Bro. can? I'll be lying to you if I said I didn't ask my agent that all the motherfucking time. <laughs> I'll be like, bruh. Like, I'm like, yo. And I listen, I admire it. 50 says what the fuck he wants to say. It's unbelievable. Does what he wants to do. Yeah. Shits on who he wants to shit on and still go does deals with family friendly networks like ABC. I've never seen anybody straddle these worlds better than 50 says. He ain't even straddling them. What is he doing? It's like he's one person on Instagram. And one person on The View. 
Bro, I listen. I, How? How? He's a cancer. That's all I can say. And maybe I'm not. Old. I haven't. Re- I haven't reached that level of cancer yet. I'm a cancer too. I haven't reached that level. Maybe it's something that comes with age, experience. I don't know what the fuck it is. All I know is, goddamn, Fifty Cent is a beast. Why does nobody bring up his past? He's probably had problematic things done in his past. Nobody cares. 50 is clowning Young Buck right now for having sex with a transgender. <laughs> and nobody gives a shit. Why is he impervious to this shit? I, I do don't know. That motherfucker got the Trump. 50 Cent has whatever Donald Trump has. They are Teflon. Why? And you know what it is? I think I think it's truly because 50 is the only person who really doesn't give a fuck. And I think that I don't give a fuck energy makes everybody else not give a fuck. So when you do some watching, like, oh, it's like, that's 50. I really think, I really do. I really think when he does one, he's like, oh, that's just 50. Is he ever worried about being sued for like character defamation? 50 ain't lost a lawsuit yet. <laughs> I haven't seen 50 lose. A, all I do is see 50 win lawsuits. Bro, 50 Cent is an amazing, amazing mind, bro. He's like my 50, hero. 50 Cent, and I'm just talking about when you look at the whole totality of 50 Cent, yeah. 50 Cent is absolutely, positively top three greatest personalities, characters in the world of hip hop ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. he is the he I don't even know if you call him a villain. Like I don't think I don't I don't know what he's the he's the he is the bad guy. He's the bad guy, but he's the bad guy that you root that you for. Root for. Cause because he's actually a good guy. He's the Joker. Yeah. yeah. The Joker's not on point enough, but it's the closest thing that I could think of where it's like a bad guy where you're yeah. going, I kinda want you to stay around. And when you think about his reasoning, like even like everybody oh he always fucking with Jahru, he always fucking with Jahru. You understand that allegedly, like they they shot fifty, yeah. they tried to kill him, like they 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 stabbed fifty, yeah. like fifty's like it's fuck you for life, and I'm not mad at that. You tried Every to right. kill me. Every right. I'm not I'm not mad at fifty for that 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 line of thought to where Ja Rule is his permanent enemy. I'm not mad at that. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. I don't know why he's doing what he's doing to Young Buck, but I do know that Fifty Cent studies the Forty Eight Law of Power, and I do know that you know one of the Forty Eight Law of Power is if you don't have any enemies, learn how to create them. I'm kind of the same way in a lot of ways too. I like conflict. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't even know what it feels like to not have some type of conflict. You, know, you saw me just cursing out a motherfucker earlier today. You know what I'm saying? I Wait, kinda, why does it say that? It's one of the laws of power. What, what, what is that? It's what learn how that? to, it's, it's uh, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. And then create them. Why do you, yeah, what, what is that? Hold on. Let me read you the whole thing. I don't want to put any misinformation out there. Yes, law two. Never put too much trust in friends. Be wary of friends. They will betray you more quickly for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical. But hire a former enemy and he will be more loyal than a friend. Why? Because he has more to prove. In fact, you have more to fear from friends than from enemies. If you have no enemies, find a way to make them. So I guess they're saying find a way to make enemies because if y'all ever do really make up and that former enemy becomes a friend he'll be more loyal because he has something to prove he's got to prove that he's loyal to you he's like yo i'm not your enemy anymore look how good the work i'm yeah. doing etc that's and, genius and i think friends betray you more quickly not only because sometimes they arouse the envy but they do become spoiled you know what i'm saying because all the time they they they, they feel like y'all have a friendship Sweet. and they feel like they can just Take advantage of that friendship. So they take advantage of your, your your kindness. They take your kindness for weakness. So they do get spoiled in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. I think 50 has just mastered the art of... I don't know what the fuck 50's doing. Let me be honest with you. I don't know. I, I really don't. I just think it's, it's amazing to remarkable. watch. It's remarkable. And, it's, and, and you, sh- you better not try to duplicate it. Seriously. You do not try to duplicate what 50 Cent is doing because it's not for everybody. 50 Cent is a unique case. We have not figured out why he's able to get away with the things that he's doing. He so, I don't think it's because he got shot. Nobody, gets, nobody has sympathy for that. I just... I just. No, <clears throat> people are scared of him. I don't know. I just like, why are they scared of him? Because he got shot. Because he's invincible. I don't know. I just yeah, but like b- if they're scared of you, that's all the reason they get you the fuck out of here. If they're scared of you, they don't want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. I just, I listen, I stay in my lane. I have my own unique thing that 
people can't figure out. You got your own unique thing that people can't figure out. 50 yeah. got his own unique thing that people can't figure out. I ain't trying to duplicate none of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here living my life. But I would be lying to y'all if I have not <laughs> turned to my agent of three or four times in my life and said, how the fuck does 50 get to say this kind of shit? Don't what does your agent say? Don't you got to deal with ABC? I'm going to read you what my agent <laughs> said. <laughs> okay? I'm going to read you the last time I sent this. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to read you this. Hold on. This was April 22nd. All right? Okay? All I saw was fair question. One, I can't say I have an absolute answer to. I think people have blinders on when they get in biz with 50. I mean, they associate him with his TV success, which is power, and didn't look at all that encompasses 50. With you, they just get unnecessarily spooked, and it's hard to explain why. <laughs> Except it, you know, right? You, you just get, <laughs> I'm like, thanks for nothing. <laughs> All right? Okay. All right? It seems like when 50's doing business with somebody, he knows more about them than they believe. So he always has leverage. Bro, I'm not going to sit in and try to figure it out, bro. 50 Cent is... An enigma that we've never seen before. Oh, ever. God. We got to talk to him. Not even just in hip hop. Period. 50 is in the TV. 50 is way bigger in the TV world right now than Dude, he is in hip hop. His rebrand was unbelievable. It's, uh, he's got a show on ABC, bro. ABC is the most family friendly fucking network. Doesn't Disney own ABC? I mean, this is insane. <laughs> it's just insane. I'm frustrated now. <laughs> So are we done here? <laughs> are, we, are we done here? What lift driver? Oh, man. We got, let's, we gonna pay this bills first? Yeah, let's do it. Turn your dream into reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you with beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks. You can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do not have a website, you do not have a business, think about that, okay? Would you go to a restaurant that didn't have a website? No. Even food trucks have websites. If you want your business, your idea, your concept, your brand, whatever it is to be taken seriously, you need a home base for that, and that is a website. The easiest way to get that home base going is with Squarespace. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box, and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple, and you'll get the help that you need with Squarespace. Squarespace is 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people, from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot. Offer code idiot. Let's get back to the show. Word, son. Um... Taylor wants us to talk about this Lyft story. This is her okay. cousin. Her cousin from New Orleans. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the girl that made the For the Dick Challenge. Remember the For the D Challenge? I would, the, oh, yeah, For the Dick. Yeah, this I young lady for this, the dick. this yeah. young lady made the For the D Challenge, and uh, she, she called a Lyft right. to take her five-year-old son to school. <laughs> which yeah. I gave her donkey of the day for, because I just think that's so stupid in this era of fucking human trafficking and... You know, these motherfuckers just out here doing all types of shit with kids. Like, why would you do that? Like, five years old? I got a three-year-old at home. Like, there's no, there's nothing a five-year-old can do unsupervised. You know what I'm saying? And if you're really not feeling well, how about get in the car with him? Let the lift drop him off and, and have back. the lift take you back. Why yeah. is this shit so complicated? Yeah. So... I put my kid in the lift for the dick. For the dick. That's what I think it was for. <laughs> yeah. I really do. I think she had some dick in the house. Yo, probably. I think she had some dick in the house. And you know that morning... Taylor, you want to talk about morning dick? Okay. Oh, really? Fine. That's perfect. I don't like giving. Why you don't like morning dick? <laughs> um, I don't like morning dick because like I wake up in the morning. Like I don't like to be woken up for sex, like at all. What, gotcha. if, you, what if you already wake up and then if I'm already awake, you say wait, say like you're already up and then you start giving a guy head and eating. His I don't. Butt. Have, uh, first of all, wait. <laughs> I don't eat ass, but I've woken. You don't before. eat ass fresh in the morning. 
What's better for breakfast? Yeah. That's why your edges is like that, bro. Real you, talk. You, you're missing out on the nutrients you need to Yo, really make your hair You want to lay those edges down and get some ball sweat on it. <laughs> that sounds so disgusting, yo. <laughs> Ew. So, Yo, sweat boy, Tongo. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, we sweat in our sleep. You didn't know that? No, no, no. But like... All the time you sweat in your sleep? What you mean? Oh, yeah. I'm a night sweater, bro. I got anxiety. All I be the tossing time? and turning. Like every Hell, night? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That is weird. I wake up in puddles of that shit. Ew. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I wake up thinking I peed myself sometimes. I get up, I'm, I'm dead serious. I get up and go to the bathroom and lay back down in them damp ass fucking sheets. I'm dead serious. I be having to lay a towel down sometimes. <laughs> Not okay. I'm a night sweater, bro. I be tossing and Do you turning. go to sleep cold, though, and then you just wake up hot? I be having hot flashes, man. Like, that. I know. I, I be tossing and turning. So listen. faithful, bro. You wake up with Michael B. Jordan, right? You wake up with Michael B. Jordan. You and Michael B. Jordan go out the night before. Mm-hmm. Y'all are both super drunk. Y'all both pass out, mm-hmm. right? So y'all do what the respectable thing is, wait until y'all sober. So you wake up in the morning, <laughs> and he's laying there Thank with a heart on. You still okay. don't like morning dick? If I'm awake, I'll do it. I'm just saying if I'm not awake and you wake me up, then we're going to have issues. Even if it's Michael like B. Jordan? Shit. I don't give a fuck. Who you like, Taylor? Who's the who's the sexiest man other than PNB Rock? No, who's it's the not sexiest? Rock. Who's the sexiest man you think alive? Uh, okay. What's his name again? He came to the show. Joe Biden. O'Malley. No. It's no one from Philly. Who? And no, not Michael Ely either. Oh, um, is he white? The guy? He's, he's a, dark skin. He's a white man. He's dark skin white guy. Um, he used to be. <laughs> dark, yo, you gotta get that dark skin white. That's he Sicilian. He used to be. <laughs> get a nice dark skin white. Oh, it's just Thomas something. Jefferson. Or, no, last. Jackson. <laughs> Thomas. Stop. Thomas the train. He used to be a football player. Thomas Jones. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so running, used to be the running back for the Jets. Word. You wipe his ass but after he takes a shit. And then there's another one. Stop. And then there is another <laughs> one. He was on a award show. His name was like Randall something. He's a football player too. Randall Cunningham? Cunningham? Yeah. Oh my God. You like Randall Cunningham? I think that's a Philly quarterback. I think he's like 70 years old. I think yeah. that's him. No, no, no. Not him then. No, no, no. He's like real. He's nice looking. What about? He's a man. He's a man. He's you a like man. a man. <laughs> Do you like chest there? <laughs> Who? No, Chester. no. Who? Fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> Who? I hate when girls from Philly get picky. Yeah, dude. Grow up with all that face. Like, Grow up with all that facial hair. Now you don't like chest hair. That's, That's fucked chest up. Hair on your man. I never said anything. No, I didn't. Do you know, like I a guy with chest hair? I don't care. This can't be a lot. What? I don't want like a lot. You hey, you never put your pussy on a chest. First hair? of all, also black. <laughs> no, <laughs> you've never done that. You no. never put your pussy on the chest there? For what? What is that doing for me? Yeah, that's wild. Yo, <laughs> I'm, I, I was trying to envision oh. that. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? You gotta put that's, your pussy on the chest there. That's hair. wild. And you just bro. run it up and down like an octopus. That's just. And then what? That's it. You leave. That's, <laughs> You leave his chest smelling like fish. That's what. <laughs> Real talk. Yo, Little seafood chest. Who? Because mine don't smell like fish. What is it? Have you ever smelled yourself and it had an odor? Look, we're going to be real. Be real. Don't be. That's right. Be real. God damn it. Don't be motherfucking go. fake, Taylor. If your shit smell like red lobster sometime, then Yo, it smell like red lobster sometimes. Talk, talk about that crab leg. So. Go. There have been times. <laughs> you wear them motherfucking leggings and you've been working all day, no, 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 farting and shit, no. and you go home and when you take them shit off, that shit just hits you in your motherfucking nostril. No, I would say if I get real drunk. Yeah, because I have to pee a lot. When okay, I'm drunk. so you get real drunk, you got to pee a lot, and then mm-hmm. it smells like what? It smells like piss. It doesn't smell <laughs> like. <laughs> Leggings make your shit stink. Don't be no, a don't. Oh, okay, this is what I wanted to touch on. We can get the fuck out of <laughs> Hold here. Hold on, I'm not done with this just yet. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so, now, okay, if you smell that it has an odor, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you wash it? Do you wash it? Why? Isn't that how people from Philly talk? Or DC? No, DC just talks wash. like that. Wash, yeah, like, wash it. You, you clean that, John? <laughs> do you clean that, John? Why before? would I even think it? Yes, I clean it. What are you talking so, about? So, like, right, you're about to have sex with a guy, and then you reach down there, you go back, ooh, my John stink. Let me go. First of all, I don't. Let me go, ooh, my John stink. First of all, I don't. I don't understand what that 
that's it. That's just sounded like a song. Yeah. Ooh, my Ooh, John stink. <laughs> Ooh, my John stink. Does your John stink? Mm. Okay. <laughs> get that egg. <laughs> get that smell. Ooh, my John stink. Ooh, my John stink. Ooh, my John stink. Ooh, my Charles Day. Ooh, my Charles Day. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. No, I don't ever. We about to make the Philly Funky Pussy Anthem. anthem. We gonna call kill it for the time. summer. Look out, call we, gonna, we gonna kill it for the summer. Okay. Call so, Diamond Cuts to produce it. <laughs> when, it, when, it st- when it stinks a little bit, mm-hmm. you shower, you wash, you just throw some water underneath it. If what I'm do about you do? to have sex with a guy? Yeah. I don't, um... Hop in his shower, though. What like, will I'll, you just... I'll wash... I'll do the, the wash-up. So like Cold bath. Yeah. So like before a Muslim prays, you do that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that would be the most Philly shit in the no. world. Wash Whatever, no. what the rest of the country calls a no. whole bath. It's just the, the little bathing they do before they pray. No. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I got to get on this current call. <laughs> Holy shit. What were you saying? You said you had one more thing you wanted the to say. Oh, it was, just, it was the Chris Rock thing, but I don't even. I don't care. <laughs> they mad at Chris Rock because he posted that picture and he put, hurry up, I got cracked to smoke. Like, hey. Come on, yo. She she smoked the crack. She, <laughs> it, but, and he's talking uh, he's talking about Whitney in the context of this photo. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Everybody's right. like, oh, he's making fun of the dead. No, he's making fun of the Whitney Houston that exists in this photo. Mm-hmm. Right. But he, she did smoke crack, though. And she That's did. what I'm saying. Like, right. we gotta, yo, if we gonna respect our icons, we gotta respect them all the motherfucking time. Yeah. Because you can't say that jokes are cool when somebody's alive, mm-hmm. and then when they're dead, you think you're not gonna get these jokes. Yeah. So y'all gonna stop making Kardashian jokes when the Kardashians die? Huh? Huh? Why are you looking at me? Huh? I'm serious. You gonna start making R. Kelly jokes when R. Kelly die? Michael Jackson's dead, and y'all did a whole Leaving Neverland special that on us. Like, what the that fuck? If we, like, I don't get what the issue is. If we're not, if, if we're, if we're not talking about. People, when they're dead, we need to monitor how we talk about them. When, when they're, they're alive. alive. I think that's a great point. Why do you make it seem like y'all staring at me nah, like I did? You I got to get on this oh, conference shit. Go, do your thing. I'm going to ask gonna Taylor about how to... All right. So, <laughs> yeah. one question. So, what, oh God, has a guy yeah. ever said, yo, that shit's kind of like... No. What if... Would you want a guy to say that? If you yeah. felt like it was smelling, how would you want him to word that? Um... I don't know. Like, be polite. Don't be like, what, how you really Yo, saying? Kit Page just said it. It's a little ripe. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Really? Has a guy ever said that? Me no, fresh. I've gone down and like my boyfriend now and been like, mm, get a little. Oh, you hop in the shower and then go. Right. So that, if a guy should say that to a girl, just be like, Yo, you're a little ripe. Um, yeah. Or you could ask like, did you work out today? We are here on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about if you if you go down on them, but you're just like you just go like this, <laughs> and then you go down on them, like you <laughs> you pinch your no- you pinch your nose like that, and then like if you're like you want me to pussy that babe? <laughs> if you just do that, is that huh? I know you are suffocate. Oh, that's true. That's it. <laughs> Unless you crawl stroke. Um, I don't know. I just. just just be straight up, like yo. All right. I just wanted to know. I just I feel like a lot of women and and what ladies you could react to. This, I feel like a lot of women would not want a guy to tell them that they were right. Probably not. But you have to learn. Like if you like for over, be real with yourself if it's though. A significant other, you should be able to tell them. Yeah. If it's a random person. They might be embarrassed. Significant other. But you I don't care. Yeah, yeah. For over, I don't care if it's a random person or not. I want to know. Like, so, so like, say it to your face rather than like to someone else. Of like, course. That'd be terrible. I'd rather like be here myself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, well, um, now we know. Now we know what to do if girls' vaginas are a little ripe. We'll test drive it this week, and we'll get back to you. Guys, um, yo, peace. This has been another episode of uh, Brilliant Idiots. Uh, If you thought that we were absolutely geniuses and that we said some thought-provoking things, you're right. And if you thought that we were absolutely mind-bogglingly stupid, you're right, too. It's been a Brilliant Idiots podcast. Peace. Peace.